Hello, everybody, and welcome to Casual Cactus, a very, very belated session of uh, Casual Cactus here. Um, apologies for coming to you late in the week, simply because we had some... Uh, <laughs> We've had some illness in the extended um, glass breaker verse. Uh, I don't know if that's. I'm, I don't know if we're. Now, yeah, I don't know if we're. Uh, I don't know if we've made it to the verse part yet. The GBV. But, uh, so that we need to have some crossover episodes, right? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Wait. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining us on what is not our normal night. Apologies again for that. It was unavoidable. Um, we are glad you are here with us tonight, and we are going to have, um, hopefully, a fun session for you guys. Um, just a few reminders as we get started, as always. The YouTube channel um, is there on the screen now. You can check that out. All of the back episodes for all of our um, campaigns can be found there, as well as standalones, uh, standalone episodes of One Shots and our Cover Your Assets. Um, cover Your Assets... Series. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted here. Uh, <laughs> we also have our Discord server up and running. You guys can check that out. Uh, it's a good place to keep in touch with news. Um, if you were in, if you were in touch with our Discord server, you would have been uh, aware that uh, this makeup session was happening. Um, I don't think I've got anything else announcement wise. We will be uh, we will be streaming again on our normal time this coming week, Monday. So uh, do so just a couple couple nights from now. So do uh, join us back for that session. Um, so I'm gonna you know take us over to the table where my uh, my. Uh, Players keep thinking that touching their nose is getting them out of doing the recap. It's because uh, we're prepared. Uh, this week, the first person to put their finger on their nose gets to do the recap. Stephen, I think that's you. <laughs> All right, where do we start? All right, I'm good. My issue is always just remembering where, like where it started. Uh, Alma searches for information guy. on the stolen oh, goods well. by impersonating Jello yep. Bed. Oh, we're gonna need to adjust <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> In my book. <laughs> the camera get I said Alma is the bloody oh. pole. Uh, yeah, yeah, you might have gotten a little. It's a little fuzzy. Okay. Um, oh my head. <laughs> so Alma was impersonating someone whose name we didn't actually know. David. When did we? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We didn't know at the time, though. We didn't. There we go. And he was, according to the plan, waiting in the lumber yard. <laughs> a plan you did. Yeah, never mind. A plan, a plan he that developed was on his own. Yes. Anyway, uh, so he had uh, been seen by uh, a member of the, the gang that he was impersonating a member of. And. Excuse me. Was being approached uh, by said member. So at that point, uh, we ended the week before we started uh, there, and with the planning of the other group uh, in town, where another plan was quickly made. Um, uh, pa, 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 what is your character's name? I don't know. Killian. Thank you. It's I'm struggling. Screen. Is it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I tags. can't see that. Anyway. It's gone now. <laughs> uh, Killian um, spoke with his grandfather to get some information uh, to find out uh, who else might have known about these shipments that were being sent out. He was informed that, uh, that Alma's father and his grandmother might be involved. Um, they then traveled to hopefully find uh, Killian's grandmother in the Sacred Grove place, the uh, <laughs> the magical grove with talking, walking trees. 
um, they visited there. Uh, one of the talking, walking, grabby trees um, apparently knew... Gosh, I'm struggling. This is Adrian's session. Name. It's fine. It's fine. Keep it's going. Fine. Keep yes, going. No, 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 no. He's no, almost no. done with that session. Okay. Wait. Keep going. He's Keep going. Like... Yeah. Oh, um... <laughs> Uh, who apparently knew Brayden's character's name? Adrian. Yeah. Adrian, man. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I'm really struggling. So is, this what mi- is this what Missing a Monday does? <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long week. No, fair. fair. Um, da, 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 da. They then continued up to the uh, logging camp to meet up with Alma. Alma spoke briefly with... Um, we never a got a dude. name for him. Uh, yeah, with, with uh, Rep- a bandit um, who he basically convinced that he needed to be taken back to um, their their hideout, um, but he couldn't leave at the time. And uh, the young boy that we'd freed... Samsby. Samsby. Um, was being interrogated by a bunch of uh, Imperial Guard Uh, They threatened him, and it looked as though he gave up some information uh, because a bunch of the Imperial Guard went off and gathered people in uh, for interrogation um, in a lodge uh, (coughs) where Killian's father has uh, Mm an office? Yep. Yep. Um, At that point, uh, the the rest of the party shows up, um, and they met up with Alma. They formulated a plan, um, where they were going to, uh, apparently try to talk to the captain of the guard and convince him that we had information and that they needed to help us and, and defend Samsby, who Alma had found out was going to be killed. Uh, by... Like now we were successful on accomplishing all of those things? Uh, yeah, there was actually, I, I'm actually fairly convinced he's dead anyway when they moved him from the lodge, but anyway, neither here nor there. <clears throat> so, uh, Killian and Mizuki, um, went and talked to the captain of the guard. They were subsequently taken prisoner themselves, <laughs> uh, for questioning, um, because they did not give up Alma's name. And Killian said that we have a friend that's really good at disguises. Yep. Yeah. Next Thanks. time, Missy, we're handling things. <laughs> uh, so, uh, they sent, at, at Killian's <laughs> urging, they sent for um, the lady that was in charge of um, sending these tax shipments out. Miss Linhart. What's that? Miss Linhart. Miss Linhart. Um, eventually she arrived, uh, towards dusk, was able to exonerate both Mizuki and Killian. At this point, Alma was again approached by, um... The rough looking dude. We didn't oh, the guy name. whose name we don't have. Um, and he also, uh, had hidden a couple of the party members nearby with magic, um... Uh, unfortunately, the bandits had decided that to cut their losses, they were going to light the fire, light fire to the uh, logging camp to take out the young boy Samsby. Rough-looking dude had four mean-looking dudes with him. Uh, so he yes, he had four guys with with bows and arrows and some sort of pitch that they lit on fire, um, and there were more across the logging camp from us. Um, so Alma followed him back to their base of operations. Uh, a fight broke out because a couple of the party members struggled with stealth. Um, <laughs> uh, there, there. <laughs> but hey, you played that like a champ. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alma made it to the uh, bandit hideout, and Cabbage uh, encountered the bandit on his own, hiding in her cloak of invisibility, <laughs> from which she stabbed this bandit several times until he died. Um, 
the rest of the party was able to track, uh, specifically Alma's tracks, um, back to this hideout. They entered through the passageway. Everyone except Simi and Mizuki entered. Yeah. With Killian leading the way, I believe. Um, at which point they heard Alma's father say something to the effect of, don't just block the way, come in. And I believe that's where we ended. Okay. Sorry if I repeated stuff from the, the week before last week. Hey, good yeah, refresher. Fine, fine. It's all right. Okay. It, it, it puts things in context. Yeah. Into perspective. Like yeah. Never there been. you go. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> yes. So, you're there. You look like. Not you. Not you. Bloody Jello Devin. 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 And Killian is there. Yep. And I'm right behind him, and Kevin is right behind me. And the two of you are, are outside. I am waiting and listening very intently at the door for anything okay. strange. Yes. Yeah. All right. So from from a around a corner, a, a crack that goes deeper into the cavern, um, steps the figure of Kel. What's the, his name? Kel. The, the tailor. Isn't uh, their last name also Taylor? Well, that sort of what we're yeah, calling them. Kind of. <laughs> the Taylors. Yeah, the Taylors. Um, and he's looking in your... He's looking past you in your direction <laughs> because you are in the passageway. You're terribly correct. It is very rude to block the passageway for other people. Let me... And I'll step out a little bit and step okay. over to the side. Okay. Would I be able to hear any of the conversation going on? I mean, they're not yelling yet. But um, <laughs> yeah. Not really. I mean, they're they're okay. they're probably... deep enough in. You can hear voices, but it's sort of muffled. Okay. But nothing sounds distressed. So. Okay. okay. We don't have to run away. No. Yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to cut off and... <laughs> I assume you're not saying this out loud. You're saying? No. no. Sure. It's probably good. Cabbage. Mr. Taylor. Uh, Alma? So, I'm going to ask the obvious question. What are you doing here? I think it's a lot more important for us to know what you're doing here. Yes, but I asked first. I, I think he's here hiding the taxes, and I'm pretty sure we're here to find them. Pretty sure that's how that works. <sighs> So, how'd you find this place? <laughs> funny, funny story. We, um, followed some of your... Less than intelligent. What's the word for... Th are they your employees? Are they your friends? What's your relationship Associates. with the other people that live here or Associates. come here or stay mm -hmm. here formerly? Associates, <laughs> let's say. Right, we followed one of your associates here. Which one? And and I'm turning he's turning now to look at Alma is still looking dazed. Right. Because clearly he didn't find the pl the way on his own. Um, uh, make, gonna... me a, make me a deception check <laughs> real quick. He looked like... Real rough. <laughs> uh, Stupid. Real bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
flood trail. A little bruise. <laughs> he came with these incision Fallen. marks. <laughs> so as soon as he's no longer looking at me, I'm casting a message. He's uh, laying on some rocks right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much notes. secrecy. Sticky notes. That's why I have my little pathway. Secrets here. don't make friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kawabata. Oh. That was his name? But they make good things. Yes. Kawabunga. <laughs> Bless you. Kawabata. Kawabata. His parents must have really not liked him. It's a common <clears throat> enough name where he comes from. I want to use that as an insult now. So... This is awkward. Where, uh, <laughs> where, so where is Kawabata, actually? He, he stepped back out. Did you guys meet him on the trail? I can't imagine he would have let you past him. Well, he we saw him and then he was still tried to shoot at him, but then he disappeared. Yes, right? he still looks like the dude. Make a deception check. <laughs> I feel like Kyle should be relatively obvious. Beats a three. So, um, looking around, how many, you said there was people in bed rolls currently, yes? No, there were just bed rolls. No, it's just the bed rolls. Okay, so the only in the chamber that you're in them. now, yes. So in the chamber that you're in now, the only person you see besides Cabbage and uh, Adrian and Killian is Kelp. Besides him. Okay. Disguised as right. vid. That That actually changes what I just said. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how's this gonna go down? Are you gonna try to kill us? <laughs> Why would I do that? I mean, you never really liked me all that much. I think I liked you well enough. Really? Most and of I my mean, friends' parents just assume I'm a bad influence. And I mean, like, my mom would be very influence. disappointed if you killed me, but so... My <laughs> mother <laughs> would be very disappointed if you killed yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so... We're gonna take the taxes back, and then... Well, see, that's gonna be a problem, because... It... Yes, He's... because... Does he have an AC greater than oh, 25? No. <laughs> no. I'm shooting him! What are you doing? Oh, I'm gosh. shooting him for nine points of damage with my crossbow. Okay. So, uh, the crossbow... It makes of an Oni or something. <laughs> the crossbow hits him, and... Oh, I should specify, this is now a magical weapon. That's true. If that matters, this is now magical. Okay. So the crossbow hits, and his entire form ripples. Oh, into what? In, ah. in a very familiar fashion. Huh. Well, that's really, really convenient. Wait, and as... And, and, and he, he gets himself back together... He staggers back, holding the crossbow bolt, but his form reforms as Kel. So he's a changeling? Right, so... What? You want to get shot again? Do we want to have a peaceful conversation now? I was having a peaceful conversation when you shot me. Yeah, but you were pretending to be someone you weren't. I'm going to step up and say, hold still. And with that, I'm also going to put in, um... Save Papa. If cure wounds. Okay. We don't know who this is yet. Yeah. Oh, true. And I'm going to restore... You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Plus four, seven points of damage. No, okay. we, we figured we'd shoot an NPC who we <laughs> assumed would have, like, six hit points. <laughs> Not whatever this does. <laughs> And I'm going to then change back to yourself. Ah, uh -huh. Alma. Okay. <laughs> I just pat him on the cheek. I should yeah, have known. Get the other two. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna level my crossbow at the 
the changeling who's not my friend. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get out. All right. Me. So, we'll whistle for these two to come in. Flash to my spot. That, that was, was, that that was a good idea though. That was that was very clever in until you, his son was in the room. And he it, 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 he it he he sort of <laughs> I wanted to see how I reacted to something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys into the room. So did you tell me anything about what I was about to see? Nope. No. Mm-hmm. Well, this is Adrian. This is Adrian. Yeah. I don't think. We don't okay, so so you guys, you guys You're the one to talk. enter the room about the time you um, see the form of Kel. <laughs> okay. Before you go in. Yeah. Before we go in. Casting Hunger of Hadar and Simi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably. Um, <laughs> um, I will cast Guidance on Simi. Uh, remind me what that does. I always uh, do plus a D4 win a D4 a do an ability check. Okay. So, upon seeing Kel in there, looking like he belongs there. Mm -hmm. Well, as you guys step into the room, his form ripples in a very familiar fashion. So, this is not after the crossbow thing. This is... is, Yeah, this this is... Well, it's after, but... He has been shot, and it has been removed. But it's still visible that he is... Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's... What's that? It's still visible that he is changing around Mm -hmm. his injury. No, he's 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 using. We shot him. He does. Yes. We shot him. He went back to looking like Kel. Yeah. Alma went up and healed him and changed back into Alma. And now, and he now he's changing again. again. And oh. Adrian went to get you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys are coming back in, okay. Kel, you see Kel, but he is rippling and changing like Alma, into um, sort of a, a nondescript. Dark hair, dark eyed, um, l- looks like just a typical worker that might be found at the logging camp, say. And before you ask, no, this is not my true form either. It well, is I kind of figured. Just <clears throat> the most convenient one at the moment. Wait. Take your true form. <laughs> father son time, father son time. <laughs> I don't think this is his dad. <laughs> he does shift once more. The form is vaguely humanoid shaped, but it is blank. There is no color to it at all. Um, it's, uh, there are no dis, you know, defining features, so there's no eyes, no nose, no mouth. The, the hands are just, the, they, they don't even have fingers. There are no toes. It, it's just, it's like a very rough lump of clay, roughly shaped like a humanoid. Alma's going for his bag and pulling out pen and paper. Now hold really, really, really still. See me would not be waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> like, right up to him and, like, like pretty much put her hand on his whoa, whoa, throat. E- easy, on easy, on easy, on easy, easy. <laughs> let's, let's let go of the person. Let's step, let, I got him. I'd I got him. You, but He's I fine. Know. Sis, I'd stop you, but I don't have that capability at the moment. She so. is not listening to them. You looked like hell when I walked in this store, in this cave, in this thing. Uh, <laughs> How often do you look like hell? See me? 
Well, he doesn't have a mouth. He can't talk to you. So let's let go of the man's throat and take a step back. You Please. Can throw a mouth. <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> so there, so <laughs> there, there, there is a sort of <laughs> chest. It, it's almost Cheshire Cat like. <laughs> there, there is a mouth that comes in and uh, make a perception check real quick. I'll just move down. <laughs> we'll work on the list. Actually, it's empty. It's everyone make a perception hard. check. A perception Oh, gosh. Perception check. That was yeah. bad. I have 22. plus five. That was a ten. Ten. <laughs> You're too angry. You miss it. Twelve. Yeah. You, you, you miss it. Sixteen. You'll catch it. Eleven. You'll miss it. Eight. You'll miss it. So, ev so everyone that caught it, it's it's Simi's mouth. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a good thing you didn't notice. <clears throat> All right, that's fair. Only, only when I need to go into town, and only when I know I won't run into Kel himself. That's fair. Oh, <laughs> she loosens her grip. So. Real awkward to run into somebody you look like. <laughs> So you, you, you do not, years. you are not. No. I, I wouldn't do that to a friend. So, so you, you you're know like Kat. a biological father. Hmm? You're the biological father of Alma? Yeah, I go ahead and let my arm down, but or, I still don't oh, real no. best. Oh, okay. All right, Alma, are you, are you, can we, can we start asking our questions? I think this is not the most okay, important sorry. thing right now. I mean, it's not, not the most important thing. Okay, taxes. That just stole. Yes, Back they're, that, yep. they're not here. Yeah, do you, do you want to just, you want to just tell us where they are and make this real easy for everyone? Please. I'm really, <laughs> really tired of trudging around in this forest looking for these things. I second that. Bef <laughs> before I tell you where the, they are... Uh-huh. Oh, you can go back to being who you were. Okay, so he, he reassumes the the second shape, the sort of nondescript uh, human. Um, before I answer uh -huh. and tell you, what do you intend to do? Well, I'm going to give him back to... Mrs. Linhart, and then she's going to pay us. See, that that's a mistake, though. Why? Because she will send them on to the capital. Yeah, that's usually what, what you do with taxes. You purpose. send them on to the people collecting them. Yes, but have you ever considered if we should be sending taxes to the capital? And instead, where do you think that they should be sent, seeing as none of the people that are paying I don't think they should be back. sent anywhere. Well, you're not giving any of them back to anyone now, are you? <clears throat> we so haven't are they yet. And why should anyone believe that you will? So, uh, so they're just the, philosoph the philosophical discussion about whether or not we should be paying taxes to the Empire can wait for another time. As of right now, we're paying the taxes so they stop sending soldiers who like beating up other people and keeping people prisoner for no good reason so that they'll go away. And if we were going to talk about philosophy... The murder of a child versus the paying of taxes? Wait, wait, wh oh. oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good point. That is a good point. Murder. S Little Samsby. You tried to set him on fire. I, well, I don't mean, know. Well, you're, you're talking your about. associates did. Uh, they set two. the whole. One of. Uh, 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 Cowabunga, Krakatoa. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, right. Basically, what happened was uh, David uh, hired a kid, like a twelve-year-old named Samsby, to do one of your like. Devin. Devin. Sorry, I don't know. And, and then the and... Imperial Guard found him back in camp because okay. we let him live with his life. That... And then they started Wait. torturing him and interrogating him. You let him live. He attacked us. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the people who ambushed I look one really, of the really mad again. 
Right, so we let him live, and then the Imperial Guard started torturing him, and your people's solution to that problem was to try and set the entire building on fire with everyone inside. Yes. I can see why you might be upset with the organization. Ray. Then. Yes. Yeah. Can I? So, in addition, can I insight him <laughs> whether or not the money is here? Go Good for it. Call. In addition, when the group of us were not immediately 14. knocked unconscious, 14? Sorry. Uh, he seems to be telling the truth. When the group of us were not knocked unconscious, and I'm going to shift back into Devon, <clears throat> me, whoever this me was, Devon. Yes. Drew swords to kill us. So we killed them instead. Except Samsby, who and Plus somebody who got away. Yeah. We defended ourselves. <clears throat> so anyway, we'd really like to get those taxes back so we can send them back so the people stop coming looking for them and we can get paid and we can finally get a good night's rest. <sighs> okay. We can discuss the rest of the philosophy later, I mean, because there's more. If you want to start this tax thing, it would probably be best when the Imperial Guards are no longer here. Also divested from the town where there are people they could kill. Again, philosophy that we should discuss Also, later. they're already yeah. wary. And they, why are they here again? No. Uh, the guard? Yeah. The, the, the guards camped out of... Uh, and they're because of the, the people who attacked the town. Well. That's why they were here originally. You mean the, the lizards? Yeah. Yeah. In charge is a strong word, strong phrase. You're pulling the strings, yes? Did you organize it? I punch him in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that's, it's it's um, intended to be non-lethal. I can let's, roll it if Let's, let's simmer fair. down there for a minute. We that was deserved. Um, yes. But we should maybe wait on, on punching. Or simmer. <laughs> So, taxes. Yeah, they're, as I say, they're not here. Uh-huh. They're across the river. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're going to have to do a lot better than across the river. There, <laughs> there's another cave system. Great, you're, you're going to give us directions how to get there. Or Actually, it'd be a lot better if you let us there. Yeah. Mm. No. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. He could give us directions straight into a trap. I was going around in circles for days. He could give us directions anywhere. True. It wouldn't necessarily have to be. But I think that there's a better way to handle this. I could cut his balls off. <laughs> I, I, mean, I like you. I don't really have I'm not though. sure you've got that in you, Cabbage. I do. We, uh, that's uh. another thing. How do you know who we are? Well, I'm not a... you're not Cal. No, but I'm not a stranger to town, either. He knows people the same way I know people. It's not that hard. You I... don't know me. Um, so, who else is here? His face changes one more time, Cabbage. And it's one of the dwarves that crews the... Uh, um, Fortune's falling. Okay, but you could just be doing that. That doesn't mean you him. <laughs> he, he changes his face back. When he does that, I slap him. <laughs> okay! You're really not helping your case any, but... Never mind. He, he was not like it when people sort were of being. What is the <laughs> problem? He was um, sort of being honest there. He could have just said it instead of showing um, off how much I, he's deceived us. I'm going to switch to Elvin, so for whoever actually knows that. <clears throat> okay! Let's simmer down! Killing him won't get us anywhere. We had to trudge around all the way here because we've already killed too many people. Let's keep it down, shall we? Didn't kill him. Step away from him. Not nice to speak in languages and not everybody can speak. Don't so worry about that. I can understand it fine. I mean, you know, do you know it? Can. So, <laughs> taxes. Before we get to taxes, who else is here? Like, how many people are in this cave system currently? Currently? You're looking at him. 
Okay, just making sure because, you know. So. So the taxes are. In another cave. And south we would of the find river. this cave by. All right, so let me make this really, really clear. The Imperial Guard grabbed a whole bunch of people and started interrogating them. They're not going to stop looking till they get their taxes. No. They're only They're gonna bring more people in the longer this takes. We're not gonna stop looking for them either. So, you cannot tell us, and the solution is a whole bunch of people keep looking around and more people get killed, or you can help us, we get the taxes, we give them back, Nobody else has to die, and the Imperial Guard doesn't have to keep their noses any further in our business. Which of those sounds better to you? I know which one sounds better to me. Also, it would be to your benefit, seeing as they think there's a magic user within your ranks. <clears throat> Why would they think <clears throat> that? Because someone used magic against us. We'll see now. <laughs> make, make a deception check. Let it be high. Let it be high. Twenty-two. <laughs> no. Now it would be a shame didn't think we had recruited anyone who knew how to do magic. Apparently you did. Mm -hmm. I mean, they used magic against us. It's really open about using magic. Also, those those Imperial Guards were, they seemed really gung-ho, like like, if they were to find all of you, I'm pretty sure they'd kill you all without asking any questions. No, I'm they sure we can I know, I'm sure we can Maybe find in the book, in the chest some the book. way to lead them off the trail. Should you give us the taxes back? Or we can just point them in the right direction. We are meant to report back to them. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Keep looking and I'll knock those eyes out of your head. Easy there. Well, if there's no one else here, then I suppose we should be on our way. I would disagree with that. But Where are we? Where, Alma? Well, out of here, for starters, before anybody else gets back so to it. So, can we work something out here, or do we need fire. to drag this out and make it any longer and any harder than it already is going to be? You saw that, right? Mm hmm. Yes, I did. Natural 20. <laughs> I yeah. did indeed. I mean, the guard captain who's running this show seemed perfectly willing to torture a 12-year-old to get information. I, I really don't think any of us want to meet him. Nope. And should we find this magic user and bring him to justice, then they will stop looking for you and you can rebuild your little tax revolution... Again, in a couple of months. We'll talk about once that. The, mm. Once the guard Maybe you leave. should try a different town. Basically, you've succeeded yeah, in making a no. problem for everyone, and unfortunately for you, that means everyone would like it solved. And I, I think it's fair to say we're probably the nicest people you're going to meet who want to fix this. I look a little um. guilty. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And I'm going to reach into my bag and pull out some rope. You know how this part goes, right? Do we need to do that? Yes. Hey, I've got a question. <laughs> you clearly haven't thought this through. Yeah. Oh, I know how it works. Just like... But the moment you change, we shoot you. Again. What if he just changes his hands? Uh... Also, I don't think we should be <laughs> clinging around a guy we're tied up. Should what, the Imperial Guard okay, find before, us and assume that this is Before we bandit. get going too far down this rabbit hole, you have yet to decide what you think of this problem. Are you willing to work with us so that we can get them to go away and leave the rest of us alone? I didn't notice that was a choice. That's not the way the Empire works. Well, I know how it works. <laughs> That's fair. And then should 
the bandits be put to justice, and then we can figure out dealing with this red lizard problem, and then the Imperial Guard will have no reason to stay in this backwater town, and they will return Dragons. back to where they came from. Keeping the taxes from Dragons. them is definitely only going to make this worse. So unless you happen to have a secret army hiding in that cave system that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, I, I really think we're going to have to do something to get them to go away or to look somewhere else. Well, it's not an army, and you couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Imperials, for sure. So that's well, that's, we should, that is pretty much the part where it's at. Your men tried to burn down a building with all of them in it. Which is why you yes. should cut your losses. They're not going to go easy on you. So. I'm... Please no. <laughs> I am going to get to the bottom of that for sure. Uh, nope. <laughs> They're kind of dead. Yeah. 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 But he's dead. All of them. Except the I don't think they'll be people dead. from the other side of the... Well, yeah, though, I mean, the people on the south side aren't dead, but... People have a bad tendency of reacting poorly when people come at them threatening to kill them with swords. Brilliant thought process on that, by the way. Most wagon drivers, when they see that, turn tail and run. Yeah, we're not most wagon drivers. We're also Actually, not wagon you're drivers. a really terrible wagon driver. Well, Indeed. fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you willing to work with us? Is Simi, are we going to have to let Simi beat your head in? I mean, I, I don't know where this is going to go, but I'd really I mean, like it if we could all just work together and get this taken care of. I mean, I would work with us because if you saw what happened to Devin, you would want to not get on her bad side. What? <laughs> I mean... Just... I'm really not sure why you guys are offering this as a choice. Cause what, that he works with us? Yeah. Because I'm really tired of just killing people and not getting anywhere. So I'd really like to not kill people and get somewhere. Fair. Yeah. Consider we've spent like a week looking for this mysterious... Yeah. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> Which one you consider? <laughs> the fact that it only took us like four days? Anyway. I mean, we... I don't think any of us here are going to say we have a particular love yeah, of week. <laughs> the Empire or the Imperial Guard. But if those taxes don't get delivered, delivered, the city is going to have to deal with that. And that's our friends, our family, our community. So we need this solved. And what I believe you said was your friend. If my father is really your friend... Then you give this up now. I highly doubt the Imperials are going to say, Oh, so sorry the taxes got lost and taken by bandits. Guess we'll just look uh, look for them for ages till we find it. Pretty sure they're going to say, Tough luck, pay us again. So, you know, good idea. You've successfully stirred the hornet's nest. Unfortunately, now everyone else is having to deal with that problem. And the Im the guards looking for these taxes don't really seem to care who they have to hurt or who gets in their way to get what they want. So inevitably, people who are innocent are going to get in the crossfire here. That makes a certain amount of sense. So you help us. We'll do what we can to make <clears throat> sure that they, they're not on your trail and that they don't come poking around hurting anybody we like. And they remain blissfully unaware that people can change shape. Yeah, that too. That is... That's necessary, yes. Mm -hmm. But should you die, that is a problem. So, you know... Just saying. So, are we going to work together? I'd really, really like to work together. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You seem to be seem to be holding all the cards there. So What were you planning to do with the taxes in the first place? I put them all on the table, if you recall. The plan was to get that money back into circulation in Sutterton, so that the money never actually left town. Would your grandfather have ever left that actually be in circulation? Never mind, not important. <coughs> I doubt it's <laughs> that okay. easy. That's a, uh, that's I, a fair question. <laughs> it's, it's easy enough to get it back into circulation by, you know, traders coming into town, buying things. Yeah, but well, yeah. Uh, again, the Empire is just going to ask the for their ta- taxes again, the and we'll just have to pay it all again. And the more, the longer and harder it is to get them, the more guards come. For it, such as I'll, I'll give you an A for effort, but that Back was for execution. poor execution. A for execution? So, will you take us to the taxes so that we can go give them back so then the the Imperials have no reason to come looking for them anymore? They got what they wanted. This is the part where you say yes. Fine. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. That's in your best interest. Is everyone okay with this plan? Say one thing first. Oh, I'm sure you have more than one thing to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Just don't punch him while you're saying it. Yes, but you have endangered every person in this town that I care about. And if you do it again, I will not hesitate to end you. And it will not feel pleasant. I believe you. So do we need to tie you up, or are we are we good? No, we're good. Okay. Thank you. Do you mind if we go ahead and search for weapons real quick? I'm gonna look around the cave and see if there's anything useful. Um, bed rolls. Let's hold on on that, actually. What? Well, now that you're walking with this, what's your name? Because we need to. Olmo. Old Mo. Old Mo. <laughs> Good old Mo. Uh, old just Mo Cowabunga. Let's hold off on names. that for the moment for a couple reasons. On what? Uh, searching and stripping the place of everything that's worth it. Well, I was just going to see what there is. Yeah, let's wait because if the Imperials find this cave, we want them to think <clears> that they caught whoever lives here unawares. We don't want them to think that they had already packed up and moved on. Sure. Otherwise, they're going to keep looking. And if they don't find it, we can always come back later. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Olmo, is there anything you need to grab from here before we go? No, I travel light. Good, I kind of thought so. And away we go. Um, do you need to, like, leave a sign or anything for your associates to know not to come back here? Why would they come back here well I have no idea but there were other people who lit things on fire and I don't know where they went it would be sort of a crappy resistance if it only had one base I'll give you that that's true all right cool let's go when they find I'm not here that will be signed enough great do you need to pee or anything before we go because we won't really have a lot of time to stop and we're walking by a river, and I know that sometimes when I'm walking by the river, it makes... That's good to know, Alma. Before we go... <laughs> Alma. I'm good. So, <laughs> if I just, like, take my canteen and just, like, swish it by your head, you're going to need to pee. How about we experiment with that later? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. There's a distinct <laughs> niche... Of D and D that is lacking in urination. <laughs> <laughs> you you can you can stand on that hill and die if you want. So are, we, are we gonna leave? Are we good yeah. to go? Yes, please. Right. 
Okay. So, you guys, <laughs> you guys um, head out of the cleft. Who's who's leading? I mean, what's the marching order? What what's what's the idea? I think the guy who knows where he's going has to be in front. And then you should, since you have the highest survival. I have. I, I don't. I I I, 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 <laughs> I will take survival. up the back. I will oh. take up the middle with my sister. Good call. I want to be right up against him. That's your okay. responsibility. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, That's I my responsibility. To take the so punch. So I'm pretty okay. I'm not going to punch you. I like you. You're my brother. I want to punch but him because he's an asshole. I definitely Thank punched you. my brother. That's fair. I didn't I'll let your Stephen and Joey. Alma doesn't have a... Right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Olmo. Would you care to lead the way? <laughs> and we should probably avoid <laughs> places that are likely to have Imperial patrols. The goose is from the uh, Aristocats. Oh, uh, yes. However it goes. Okay, so he takes point and starts leading you um, back down the same trail uh, that you guys came up earlier in the evening. What does he look like? Just, someone just, other just than very, Jim? just very, very generic, very, very generic, very sort of nondescript, dark hair, dark you. eyes, fairly muscular, as though he would fit in at the logging camp. Um, and before he gets you guys back to the camp, he he peels off on a little side game trail. Um, it's, you know, very narrow. You have to go single file. Um, for an hour or two, winds through the woods. Um, it dumps you out onto the main road, the, the north road, um, out of Setterton, right about there. And he turns and starts south, um, headed back in towards town. As we're walking, yes, I would like to ask Olmo a question. Okay. <clears throat> so you're friends with Cal? Yes. So is he part of your resistance? No. He does have his own issues with the Empire, and I think I think if he hadn't gotten remarried, he might be part of the resistance. Remarried. So how many people in your little resistance actually know they're in your resistance? Because all the people we've talked to, most of them had no idea what was going on. That's by design. Right, okay, so you do purposefully keep them in the dark. They can't tell what they don't know. You do know that doesn't actually stop the guards from beating <clears throat> the snot out of them to try and get it, right? Yes, but eventually they have to realize that they don't know anything and let them go. Or just kill them. Killing them, yeah. Pretty, pretty sure something. the plan was to just kill the people I saw them interrogating. That just goes to prove that the Empire <clears throat> needs to be brought down. I mean, maybe, but it also goes to prove that you're putting a lot of people in a lot of danger and without not knowledge. telling them that's what they're signing up for. It's got to be kind of hard to have a lot of loyalty from your the people that work underneath you when they don't actually know what they're fighting for. <laughs> Yeah. Just like, That's a good point. Um I am also trying to cover our tracks as we go. Okay. Uh, make me a survival check for that. And then I'm I'm drawing something on a piece of paper as I'm talking to Cindy. Okay. Uh, anything specific? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Unnatural twenty. Okay. Good. <clears throat> um are you okay? I mean, I'd, 
I don't think punching someone is like the, the correct way of talking to someone, but... Still not convinced of that in this case. I still don't know what we're going to get out of him that's going to be useful. Uh, the taxes? <laughs> I, I mean, to see that why, why are we here if not to get the taxes? <sighs> I understand the idea, brother. Uh-huh. I don't have any reason to believe that we might not walk into a trap, that he might have any other number of places, as was said before, that he might take us. True. But this is the man that had a terrible system of taking taxes, but I don't know if he's well <laughs> thought out his plan. That's a fair point. Whether he's, he hears that or not, I don't care. <laughs> he didn't think it out well enough to not get the majority of the people that we have met that have been entangled with this killed. Well, that was our fault. No I mean, one technically to has been killed, except the bandits, but they attacked us, so it's more... Self-defense. Self-defense. But that doesn't mean that what they, they're doing is what they don't believe, what they do believe. He deserved that punch. He deserves a lot worse than that punch. But... He's fighting for what he believes in, as everyone else in this world is. Everyone fights for what they believe in. But some of those things are going to be wrong. True. Thank you. you believe wrong. <laughs> Your beliefs suck. Your beliefs suck. <laughs> and where his belief system seems to impact the health and well-being of the people that I care about. I take issue with that. Okay. But I'm not going to hit him. Right now. Because yeah. I have said that I won't. <laughs> <laughs> and if he holds up to his end of the bargain, I'll hold up my I guess. <laughs> of not punching him. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to think about starving. Small joke. Yeah. Absolutely. So he continues to lead you um, down the road just a little ways, um, only about a mile or so before he turns off again. Um, it looks as though he is angling to pass um, east of Satterton uh, based on direction of travel um, and the fact that he's keeping off the main roads, um, you know, game trails, Bless you. Bless hunters you trails, that. things like that. Um, it, it looks like he's taking you at your word that, um, that it's time to... Um, or th that it would be best to uh, avoid mm -hmm. in imperial entanglements. <laughs> and no questions asked. And no questions asked. They're all good, sorry, sir, but check out. Um, the, the, the sun has long since gone down. It's, it's dark. Um, clouds roll in over the mountains and start to obscure the stars. That was what that drawing was. We're all out way past our bedtimes. <laughs> this is yeah, like a normal night for me. <laughs> okay. A red herring, if you were. <laughs> Excellent. Good to know. Um, make me a performance check associated with that. Sure. Um, 15. 15? Okay. Cool. Um... Unless you ask direct questions of him, Olmo just stays out front and continues to lead you down the paths. Um, he's not volunteering anything. He's not saying anything. He's not trying to convince you guys of anything. He is simply walking in the woods, and you guys are following him. Um, long about... You, you, you've been walking for several hours. Um, it's it's we 
we late, uh, actually it's early, early morning, uh, probably probably about two or three o'clock, um, he, he pulls to a stop um, in a sort of a secluded uh, clearing in the woods. It would be best if we not move during daylight. It'll be easier to avoid patrols at night. Uh, how much further is this place? Oh, I imagine we'll, it'll take us, uh, if we're trying to avoid patrols, it'll probably take a couple of days. And that's going to slow us down, too. Why are you camped so far apart? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Okay. But you can if you want to. <laughs> I'd rather not. So that we're camping? I would. Um, out of curiosity, you? do you still have the wood from the shipments? Uh, somewhere, I'm sure, yes. Do you know where off the top of your head? I think the standard uh, procedure was to take the wagons uh, a couple of miles into the woods by a secluded track and find the taxes, offload them, and just leave the wagons there. They'd, they'd be along the road to the west. No, that, that's fine. I'm, the Imperial Guard Captain is going to want to talk to us about how we found these. So I'm just trying to think of the best way to explain how, how we, we got these. these that doesn't say, by the way, there's a budding resistance against your regime that's here, so you should probably wipe it out. Oh, here. i hand you a piece of paper. So... We're going to be missed in town. The we're gone for three days. Someone who gave us a are we? Old map to where You've got Paris. The taxes are I've got Paris. And should we be stopped by Imperials before He's we get Paris. there? We can just hand They've them this and they will Did follow you not to a red tell them you were going to be gone for a while? I mean, I didn't say no, it for days. Oh. That's just because your family's not here. Yeah, I, I, like, well, how many of you need to go home then? I mean, I'm not going home, I'm just saying. Would there be disciplinary action or something like that if I didn't come back to the cloister? You had asked for some time off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had asked for the rest of the day, but I didn't think... Oh, no, that you, was it was a week. No, 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 it was, yeah, it was, it was when we went oh, out on the way. it's still in the same time. Yeah, yeah, you okay. got a couple of days at least. Like, three more days until that's up. No, wait, I'll actually hold on. You've got exactly five more days. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I should be okay. They knew that I had come back after the last outing, but technically I still have time. So, it is raining on you now, Mizuki, just so you know. <laughs> I, I assume we're now going to be under a tree to get away from the rain and to rest for a while, considering we've been going on for, well, all night. Now you guys have been traveling all day, too, yeah. So, if we stop and rest, we might be able to move during the day and now that we're far enough away from the lumber yard, I think we could probably be okay if we run into any patrols. The um, Their captain knows that we're looking for the taxes, and he was willing to give us leeway to find them, provided we told him what we found. Yes. I would be very interested to know how you managed that. Very, very poorly. Managed mm -hmm. what? Because of a certain someone. Was that, was that a sick burn? 
Was, yes. Which is yes, it was. That really? was really not <laughs> wow. very. That didn't go down well. Huh. <laughs> no, you just, weren't there to see the. We were maybe gonna get interrogated and tortured for information. Figures. So how how close were you exactly? To what? To being interrogated and tortured. Yes, let's bed down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Not that close. I mean, they hadn't tied us down to any chairs yet, but we also couldn't leave. They were folding us. Hmm. Tenderly? Mm, no. <laughs> Wait. There was no tea, so... I made you tea! But it was... <sighs> Did you make what they call tea around here? Well, of course I did. Isn't That's what tea is. Not yeah, I'm quite. so I am so <laughs> sorry, my lady. Wait, what do you mean? What they call tea around here? You know, yeah, that's not, not tea. Finally, it's, someone it's really who understands. Well, then, what is it? What is it? I, I've heard it called calf. Huh. Oh, it's distinctly different huh. from the tea. My apologies. Right. At what? home, what is tea? Yeah, what is <coughs> tea then? Well, when you get land. when you get a chance yeah. to speak with your grandfather. Ask him what tea is. Yeah, your grandfather hmm. does have really good quality hmm. tea. So we should set up lean tos. Well, yeah. yeah. I assume that that's kind of happening while I, we're yeah, talking. I, I assume we're Stop setting. looking yeah. at me in that tone of voice, Alma. Would you like to help me set up a lean to? I will happily do so, but I would like to know how is it that you know all of our people? Like, who have you masqueraded as to be? You got mad last time he showed that. Yeah, I you, didn't you say did. show me. <laughs> also, to be fair, so, was a smug just, just on your part, so far he only knows our names, and him knowing who my grandfather is, that's not impressive in the slightest. My grandfather will tell you who he is while he's getting his hair cut. I mean, you pull out I've his name quite often. Or really you pull. <laughs> <laughs> As Killian is having some of his, his, his trail rations. <laughs> but I'm still expecting an answer. <laughs> I have been in Sutterton for many, many years. Invasion. Where were you before then? I don't have a home. I, my people don't have a home and that's because the empire doesn't like us too much the empress and her family Maybe don't <laughs> like us oh. that much <laughs> <laughs> I, to answer your question directly, I have made many trips to Satterton disguised as merchants, disguised as woodsmen, disguised as, in one particular case, I recall, I was actually a stray dog because that was the best I could do at the time. Uh, thank you, by the way, for that bone. <laughs> I must have talked to you so many times. Yes, so many times. Thank you for that. And so much. Oh, so much. Wait, how was a dog the best you could do at the time? A dog? Everyone that I knew how to be was in town. <laughs> uh, fair. Which, if you've not had a home, then yes. you've wandered everywhere, right? I don't miss it. So, why would you not just change into someone who has nothing to do with this place to preserve the safety of the people that do? I. You broke. You broke my stick. <laughs> I, 
sorry. I, I wanted to be a dog. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, wanted, I, I get that you wanted to be a dog. That's not the question. <laughs> oh, I mean, to be fair, if he shows up as someone who has no reason being in town, of course, it's going to be kind of hard to explain why he's in town. But if you're just a nondescript person... Well, he was, like the merchants. It's a very small... Or room. the loggers. Yeah. I've talked to everybody. I mean, I don't think they can just create a person out of nothing. Like, I, well, yeah. I think it has to be a copy of a person. But why would you in the middle of your bandit headquarters decide to be somebody like a prominent tailor in town instead of just a somebody who's a relative nobody that people don't know? I mean, if he saw us it, coming cause in. Because he saw us and knew that we would want to not shoot him. He chose the one Good call on that, would by the way. Probably. Hmm. Well, sure. You should call him Tim soon. I was just thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, Tetsu, he doesn't get that yet. <laughs> or Sewer? Yes, I, I did think of He's that. He's Tetsu, his, his demeanor's all off. Mm -hmm. That's true. Hey, I'd just like to point out, you don't have a problem with Alma doing all this changing, and he was Officer Dick. That is true. Yeah. You know, you don't have to call me that. But I'll that was your name. you that. Uh, your persona at the time was Officer Dick. I don't have a... Mm. Strange name. You, you woke me up <laughs> and tried to get me to go up and be productive that day. I that was <laughs> not what I was doing, but okay. Like waking up is an act of crime. It's... I mean, it's fair to be upset that you thought he was... You know, you didn't realize that you weren't talking to the people you thought. What... The fact that he's changing into people doesn't really seem like that big a deal to me. See, we actually had this discussion, if you recall. It's hard knowing that there are people that could be other people. Especially if they're willing to abuse that. A lot. I mean, if I could turn into other people. Yeah, there's a reason the cabbage can't turn into other people. Hey! <laughs> yes. Because I wasn't born in change. Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't there also be a reason that Alma is... Can? That's a good point! <laughs> there is a reason that I can, yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean... There should be a reason that you can't, because you're worse than I am sometimes. Simi kind of like... <laughs> but is he worse than you are if you could change? Oh, I don't know, I can't change. I guess we will never know. Is there something hmm. I can sign up for? Nope. Okay. Now, you, you do know you could just, like, get a house in town and, like, live in town, right? Move in as a person. You, you are aware that if you wanted a place to live and to be part of a community, you could. That's not a good are idea. Are you Why? Because then you're, you're stuck. You're... you're well, you live in a one place, and you're certainly not stuck as one person. No, 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 no. But then, if he's if he's living as anything but a child, then he has to, you know, do the societal things, right? You have to have a job. You have to be in places that you're supposed to be. Uh, I get it. That's kind of part of the deal, though, with existing. You have to be able to supply, you know for your family or Look, I'm not I'm not saying yourself. that what he's doing is right, but no, he doesn't. He's leading a rebel group. So he has to the do those things. Bunch of people killed all the time. I'm not I, like I said, I'm not saying it's a good thing. It just makes sense. It's logical. Yeah, no, it makes sense, but I was just making sure he you do realize you could like move in somewhere and live there, right? Like you you're not consigned to being an outsider for your entirety what of your life, if you didn't want you to. Have Mainly Kel. Does have okay. a habit of taking in strays. <laughs> You're not wrong there, boy. How long have you been attached to Kel? Good thing you have fingers this time. Are you gonna punch him again if you don't like the answer? Don't, don't punch him. Do I look like I'm going to punch? You him? always yeah. look like you're going to punch someone. I need to work on that. Well. Do you? I don't know. Everybody 
else seems to not like it very much. I think it's called resting cow bar face. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 25 years. Like, how old are you? Older than I look. 25 years? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how was your dad? Huh? Dad died of I don't know. Is your dad changing? 50, almost 60? No? Are you sure? Yeah. I would know. I mean, he knew that that was a changeling. That's that's why I shot him because he told me to. Uh, Any relation? <laughs> <You are just laughs> what gave me away? Because that's what I thought you. you no, no, he. Oh, he, he we're did impersonating the someone thing. that I live with every day. Uh, <laughs> good point. <laughs> he doesn't talk that way. You gotta, you know. To be fair, I didn't know it was you. If that's if I'd known it was you, I would have picked someone else. That's fair. I'm really glad to know that you didn't just shoot him. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, if that wasn't clear, Alma did his little weird head talky thing and told me I should shoot him because it's... So we dead. don't talk about magic. All the cards on the table. I'm yeah. sorry, it doesn't he matter if you use a magic. creature. Um... <laughs> he changes his shape. If that's not magic, I'm not sure what is anymore. Okay, so I already knew Alma was magic. That's not... A... Magic. <laughs> Wait. Now I have another reason to threaten your life. Nope. What? Any nope. Of this you're, no, 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 no. He's right. Mouth. He's right. He's right. It's not magic. He's right. Who would I tell? I'm not going to go to the Imperials. I mean, the changing part is one thing, but the magic part is a different one, so the Maybe. fact that I'm the only person in this party who uses magic is now out of the bag. <laughs> Shut up! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I, I'm not too worried about him going and talking to the Imperials because it's going to be great when he says something about us and then we're like, yeah, also, he changes into people and he runs a resistance. No! <laughs> we don't talk about changing into people. Uh, no, we, we don't. We do if he tells them about you. No, we don't. That would still... Mm, we we don't. don't. Uh, All right. We could talk about other However, things. Still, make all of I do feel things. obligated to say the words that if anything is said, you can say them. I merely point out, I have nowhere to go. I don't. No know one that. to tell. I met you exactly what, like several hours ago. I mean, at least like six hours or something. <laughs> yeah, that long ago. I don't know who you talk to. I don't know anything about you except what you've told us, and I don't know if that's true. I see your point. Hey, Zion. Hey, Zion. I mean, I am inclined to believe you on this one. Inclined, yes. Does that mean that I'm just going to give it to you without telling you what I'll do if you actually break that trust? I actually think no. he's probably one of the most trustworthy people I've talked to in the past, like, two days. <laughs> Not hey. including us, of course. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good point to me. So, bedding down for the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I suppose you'll want me where someone can watch me the whole time? Oh, yes. You can, well, she does. I don't know if the rest of us really care that much. I mean, we're, you can we're going to do kick up in the lean two that yes. we don't need to. is not broken. We're going to be smart <laughs> and fix it. Watch. <laughs> we don't need to. Why? Because I've got it covered. But we don't know what of us can do magic. I think we should do watches. <laughs> Stop think saying things out loud! <laughs> Already out of the bag. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go prep our campsite to make sure nobody sneaks up on us. I'll be back in a jiffy. I will take first watch. <laughs> if anyone's wondering first what first I've been doing, job. I've been s skimming through a book that I pulled out of my pack. Um, any particular? Uh, it's a book called uh, uh, The Outer Edges of the Empire. And it has nothing I'm looking for. Okay. <laughs> what? 
you want to, do you want to share with the class here? Nope, nope. <laughs> no, 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 does not. I'll tell you guys off stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get us in trouble on stream. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, no. but it's gonna go up on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Anyone yeah. who watches the video Anyone potentially. The yeah, fire. Zion, it, it started going to. gray on me a few years ago. It's just gotten progressively more and more so. I'll take second watch. Okay, so first watch, second watch. Yeah. First watch. First watch. Yeah. Who's on second watch with cabbage? Um, I will. First base. Okay. Third watch. See me. Killian, are you going to take a watch? or I'm no? always on watch. Okay. But no, I'm going to sleep. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, Olmo um, actually curls up next to the campfire, out in plain sight of everybody. Oh, we should probably get him, like, a, something to cut through. Well, I kind of assumed he had something. I mean, the campfire is there, so... And he but said he trusts the lighting. Rain. I'm assuming we've got the whole thing kind of covered. It's still raining. Dish, like we've protected our site a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the campfire is, is covered, otherwise it wouldn't stay... Yeah. Wouldn't okay. stay going. Right. So so he's, he's curled up next to that, but he is in plain sight. Um, and he sort of leans back... It gives you the sense that he's used to sleeping rough and that it's not going to bother him. Um, not long after he lays down, there is a light snoring coming from his direction. Authentic snoring coming from his direction. I still haven't replaced my pack yet. So I'm essentially doing the same thing, just on the ground. <laughs> I left my my pack when we went and chased the guy across the river, and we never went back. <laughs> uh, so first watch was the two of you. Okay, um, go ahead and give me your uh, perception rolls. Natural twenty for nice. twenty four. Nice. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Um, it, once the, once the, the storm sort of passes, um, the stars, you know, the, the, the day brightens up as you guys are sleeping through the day. Um, it's fairly quiet. Um, the sounds of, of wildlife sort of start filtering in from around you guys. Things moving in the underbrush, squirrels, um, bigger game um, but not much else um, you do occasionally catch like way off in the distance and it must be just because the 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 light or the not the light but the the wind is just exactly right and you do catch um, loud voices and, and the sound of tools from the logging camp um, but otherwise, it's it's fairly quiet. If you guys need to do any conversating, now is the time. No? I imagine Alma's probably fairly quiet. Alma, how is it's quiet time? It's quiet time. <laughs> She'll uh, be working on her ledgers and checking. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, second watch. Nineteen. Nineteen. Unnatural twenty. Okay. Much the same. The wind comes up a little bit and sort of dries things out. Uh, overnight, the the fire stays going, sort of burning low. A little bit of smoke. Drifting, but not a lot. Um, typical sounds in the woods. Um, Olmo does kind of shift a little bit there by the fire. 
He sort of puts his arms back and, and watches you guys. Again, any conversating, any anything you want to say to each other or to or to him. I'm periodically I'm just looking through that book I have, getting more and more frustrated. So we've met a whole bunch of times. Did you ever tell me pirate stories? No. Oh, that's too bad. Do you know any? I've probably got a, one or two. Um, I've, I've known several pirates in my day. You've known real pirates? Well, yeah. So you've traveled all over the place? Yeah, it's where I met Kel, actually. Wait, pirates? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, traveling. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't happen to know a place referred to as the Sunken City, would you? That'd be real convenient. <laughs> no. A number of reasons. Okay. So, you met Kel traveling. Where were you traveling? Well, we were both in the Imperial Army. What? Yeah, about 25 years ago, the there was um, there were some battles of, out across the the sea to the west. He and I were conscripted, and um, we were we were uh, army buddies. We went off to war and managed to make it through. I'm starting to think that Alma's dad's a lot cooler than I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were the days. So does he know that you're a change again? Oh yeah. Uh, he he um, <laughs> he caught me mid change one night on the battlefront. Uh, it's uh, it's not necessarily a good thing to be a changeling in the empire. And um, luckily, he liked me enough at that point. He kept my secret. <laughs> Steven, you're almost showing that. <laughs> Why? Is there anything you're specifically looking for there? No. Hmm. Yeah, I, re I remember the shop that Kel had in Costas. Right? Yes. Yeah. Was he a tailor then, or was it some kind of other shop? Oh no, he, he it was a tailor shop. Oh, uh, okay. He he, uh, he and his wife owned it. His first wife owned it when he was conscripted. I'm just learning all kinds of things. I didn't know that this was his second wife. Yeah. You don't seem nearly interested enough in this, Adrian. Man. What? <laughs> No, I'm reading. Jeff, can you tell me the pirate stories? Oh, sure. And he starts spinning out this yarn. Um, it, it's one, you've heard a variation on it um, before, but it's a lot more exciting the way he tells it. And there are a lot more details. And you almost get the sense that maybe... He's got a little bit closer, um, closer knowledge of the story than w the person who told it when you heard it the first time. I, mean, I finished the book frustrated and put it back in my bag. <laughs> <Hate you. laughs> so why did you guys leave the empire? Well, for me, it was fairly obvious I had to get away because of who and what I am. And Kel had to leave when his wife died. Uh, 
they um, she was forced out of their home by a upstart nobleman who was far too close to the empress. Hope that bitch dies. And had her backing, and he stole her home. He stole their home and turned her and their son out onto the street. And who were they? Who was this noble? I, I don't remember his name. She, um, she did what she had to do. And it killed her. And their son was sent off to, well, sent off to, to live as a monk. <laughs> Damn it, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> All the tangled webs we weave. First we practice to deceive. Shakespeare. Is he alive? I don't know. I lost track of him. <laughs> I haven't been in the capital for a very, very long time. Did you guys That's leave bad. the capital? Oh. <sighs> the war was 25 years ago. We mustered out... 23 we got home Kel found out that his family was gone his shop boarded up his home stolen and he just left and I came with him Sounds like you have lived a very interesting life, Mr. Omo. That's one word for it, yes. Well, thanks for telling me stories. Got lots where those come from. I feel like, you know, when we're marching you through the woods and stuff, might not be a great time to get all of those stories. But when I run into you later, as different people. Will you tell me stories? <laughs> sure. Thanks. Third watch. Are you not taking the watch? No! We don't need to. Why? Because I've got it covered. Unnatural 20. Oh, you, you didn't explain. <laughs> Unnatural 20? Mm -hmm. You didn't explain anything. I understand. I just don't care. We are all living in deception. Camp is quiet. You know, most of most of your friends are are sort of snoozing and catching what rest they can. Um, Olmo is, you know, sort of laid back. He's got his leg propped up on one knee and is just sort of relaxing. Uh, the sounds of the forest. Oh, that's out there. Okay. Yeah. Sounds of the forest are co coming in from from all over. And um, yeah. I'm just realizing that leaving Simi on watch. Yep. Alone with this guy was yep. not a good idea. Probably pretty yep. dumb, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you just gone. taken watch, didn't watch. need to. Oh, that might not be true in a few minutes. <laughs> yes, Zion, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Want one? Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to sit cross-legged in kind of a meditative stance, but I just like. Am glaring at him the okay. majority of the time, and at some point in the quiet, unless he breaks it first. Um, so, what have you been in my circles? Mm, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Okay. 
I don't often imitate members of your order. That would make sense. It's hard to be an outsider in such a closed group. Um, but you don't have to be an outsider, do you? No, that's true. There was once, a long time ago in the capital, I was um, was looking for someone, and um, I found one of the the brothers to imitate. He was heading into town for um, for supplies that day, and I. I pretended to be him, having forgotten things, trying to poke around and, and find the person I was looking for. I wasn't successful. You, know, you lot are entirely too good at obfuscating records. What brother? Hmm? What brother? He spits out a name. Um, <laughs> um It is. It is someone you would recognize uh, a lot older than you. So if he was imitating this person as a young man, it would have been many, many years before you were left with the order. Did you learn anything else valuable while you were there? I learned that there's entirely too much worship of the Empress, but I already knew that. That is what our order is. Yes, but she's not worth it. Why do you say that? Her powers are not of this world. Is that not a reason to be more inclined to worship her? If they were Intrinsically hers, perhaps. They're not. She has stolen those powers from something else. Do you know what? No. That secret is guarded closely. You're <laughs> surprising me. The door was unlocked. <laughs> they did a really crappy job that day. <laughs> That guy got fired. Mm -hmm. Actually, probably, yeah, they killed. probably killed. Oh, yeah, for oh, sure. For sure. <laughs> His whole family, too. Mm, likely. So, you've said that you are willing to work with us. What is your solution for correcting this problem? Because you and I both know that you're not going to stop doing the thing that you're doing. But if you continue to put this town at risk, that is a problem. Until... Until the people at large know what I know, that the Empress's power is based on lies, there can be no stopping. Getting that truth out requires a seed of, I hate the word rebellion, but in, the ca in this case it fits. And such rebellions can only take root far, far from the corruption of the capital. It didn't have to be Satterton, but that's where Kel and I landed. 
And so I started the work here. I've not made much progress. Well, yeah, your planning is terrible. Do you have a better idea? Something that probably doesn't include, you know, getting half the town murdered might be nice. Maybe something that's not going to uh, draw quite so much the Imperial eye because you're not robbing them. If you want to plant a seed, you don't want to start with something that's going to attract the gardener you don't want in your yard. That's not an idea. That's critique of what I've been doing, what we've been doing. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Perhaps it would be more useful then at first to uh, see where there might be weaknesses in her uh, hold over the minds of the people. You're not going to do that by stealing their tax money. Perhaps, you know, discussion and perhaps... If you're so good at deceiving people, one might think that rumor mills would be a much more useful thing than stealing money. Why was that where your brain went initially? Did you not foresee that there would be problems with this? Small towns, people talk. There are better ways to introduce an idea. You're not wrong. I'm... You have to remember, I'm not from here. I'm not used to small towns. I'm used to big ideas, big, big waves, let's say, getting things done. Ripples in the water become ocean waves that can knock people down. If you want to plant a seed, you have to start with a seed. <clears throat> hmm. Very wise. Would you like to join our rebellion? <laughs> <laughs> she kind of settles back into her position. And he's going to go back to his lounging as well. You deserve that punch. Maybe. You deserved worse than that punch. I, there we'll have to differ. I'm not so sure that I dislike you, though, so please don't deserve any more. <laughs> I'll do what I can. As close to an apology as you're going to get, bud. Like I'm not sorry. <laughs> Backhanded compliment I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I'm not sure I, do, I dislike you, so please don't be an asshole. <laughs> So the, the day has passed. You guys have taken a rest, uh, recharged any abilities that you needed to have recharged. <laughs> batteries. Your batteries are recharged. Um, and late afternoon on towards dusk, um, Olmo stands up and looks around expectantly. I suppose we should be moving on then. We have a lot of ground to cover. Okay. Yep, off we go. Um, you guys take a few minutes to, um, you guys take a few minutes to, to douse the fire, cover the, the camp. yeah, police the camp, make sure it doesn't look like anyone has actually stayed there overnight. And then he begins to lead you guys south. Um, over the course of, of the evening as night sort of falls, uh, you guys come to the main road that you know if you, uh, if you followed it to the west would lead you back into Setterton. Um, he, he pauses 
and looks sort of both directions to make sure that no one is, is on the road and then crosses over. Um, leads you, again, maintaining small game trails, footpaths, things that are um, not unknown, but typically less traveled, just because they are narrow, they're twisty, they're steep in places, um, and they're hard going. Um, about midnight, uh, bless you, bless you. About midnight, um, with the moon hanging high, um, the quarter moon hanging high in the sky. I can't say that like it matters anymore. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you if you wanted to go find it. Well, I'm absolutely but, going back, but we don't have time. Yeah. Uh, the 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 moonlight illuminates the ripples on the river. Um, it is a, it's a fairly, fairly um, shallow ford uh, across the river. Um, Tie a rope. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, this is far, this is far upriver from where any sorts of um, boats can travel. Sutterton is about as far upriver as, as the, the boats can actually get. Um, so up here, um, the ford is fairly narrow. It, it's only a, uh, it's only knee deep. Um, you guys are able to cross over easily enough. Uh, no problem. Yeah, your boots do get wet. Um, your slippers get wet, Mizuki, unless you take them off. We probably take them off. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so you do wade across knee deep. Um, it's cold, bracingly cold, um, because as you all know, the, the water um, starts as um, glacier runoff upriver. So it's like very, very cold. Um, and especially since it's um, autumn time, the air is kind of chilly anyway. And so the, the water stays very, very cold. Um, several hours later, you guys come across the, um, the road to the south. Um, it's ground you, you're actually familiar with because you've covered it recently. Um, in fact, you, you sort of skirt around the pit trap. What? Yep. So, so Killian does, like, kick a rock in frustration all of a sudden? Yep. I wonder how close we were. <laughs> I, have I bet we were really, really close. I bet you... Yes. I mean... Yes. Also, we is it going to be there? That is we the question. We lost them close to here? No. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> um, there are also... Um, sort of darker patches on the road where uh, goblin blood has been spilled. <laughs> where the goblin used to stand and before where, it got before natural it plenty. Got. Um, <laughs> and incinerated. You know, there, there's a little sort of sunburst spot on the road. <laughs> it's like it's a small pile of ash in the middle of it. There are no bodies left. Um, because you, we, buried, we them. buried them. Right. Yes. Because you guys buried them off the road. Um, and he continues leading you along the road. Uh, the mountains sort of rise up um, above you. The, the road starts to, to kick uphill a little bit as you angle towards a mountain pass. Um, you were surprisingly close. Little, little upset. Do you know why you didn't find it? Because we didn't have Olmo with us. You didn't have me with you. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, yeah, did. we did. Not, no, because you guys did this whole bit. Oh, no. no yeah, no, you no. were definitely here, and you definitely didn't help. Time to step off that soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> you want to re rethink that one? Timelines. That's fair. That's fair. I was having an off day. That's, 
it was there was a lot of strangeness going on. You were having yeah. to process it. On, on the upside, you're you're wherever we're going. It's it's pretty well <laughs> hidden. We couldn't find it. We were well, we were down here looking and we couldn't find it. This that's, part of your plan is good. That's good to know. And he um, he leads you guys up to a uh, up into the pass, and there is um, you know, as as the sun is starting to come up. Um, he tells you that um, it's probably another ten or twelve hours. Um, would you prefer to press on? Um, the way certainly gets easier in the day, but it's also very narrow. And if patrols are out this far, then it's it would be hard to hide from them along the road. What time is it at this point? Um, it, it's starting to become um, sort of the pre-dawn. The, the the sky is starting starting to lighten somewhat. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> um. It might be a good idea to bed down. But if we do decide to keep going for another 10 or 12 hours, um, we do have some options for hiding in plain sight. Mm. Well, I, I think resting is a good idea. Thank good you. Life. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Fine. All right, so I'm just going to reiterate this. We don't have to keep watch. I've got it covered. I'll take first watch. I'll take second. All right. <laughs> All right, so so first, who's who's on first? It was <laughs> <laughs> what's on second? Third base. Third. So so first base first. <laughs> yep. First base, first watch. Anybody with with him on first? I'll do. Okay. Okay. Second watch. Okay. Wait, third. leaving you alone again? Third. You guys I mean, I are idiots. Sure. Yeah, I didn't yeah and unless last someone tells seven. me, like I see no reason to stay awake. Actually. Uh, aside. Take watch. Why? Just in what? In case she gets punched. Oh. Pa, pa, That's a good point. I mean, she didn't kill him last night, and that's a really good sign. I but probably also seemed a lot less agitated <sighs> today. <laughs> I mean, Fine, I will take a watch, but I just want to. I just want to point out we don't actually have to. I've actually got stuff set up around the camp that will wake up if anybody comes by. That's fantastic. Just want watch. you to know. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm watching everything else. He's just watching me. <laughs> I mean, we're just doing this out of an abundance of caution because we know how much you hated this guy a few hours ago. How much cover is I mean, there around like where we're setting just up? just don't know that I don't like him. <laughs> There's some cover from certain directions and then... It, it's wide open others. So uh, for, if if there is a patrol coming up from sort of the southwest, you guys would have a little bit of warning and a little bit of cover, but if they were coming up following you guys, it's going to be real hard to hide from them. So just so everyone knows, whoever is on watch, if there is somebody coming, wake me up first and quietly. I'm going to put my... Uh... My alarm out an extra like twenty feet. Okay. Just since it's that wide open, I'm gonna put it out a little bit further just Why in case. Wake you up first? Because I can make sure they can't see us. <coughs> and I'd really prefer to not have to kill anyone. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea of not killing people. Oh, that's fair. Meanwhile, you should be someone from town. Oh, isn't he now? Are you from? Do I recognize this guy? No. Yeah, I mean, he should be someone from town. Any anyone in particular? Why? Because if if I don't get woken up in time and someone does see us, it would be kind of suspicious if we were traveling with someone. What did we name the kid from the forge? Oh, uh, uh, James. 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 <laughs> have you met James? I don't believe I have. Have you met my little That's not sister? That's a bad thing Karen? to worry about. He, he sort of ripples, and he, he, he his form compacts, and he becomes 
carrot. <gasps> Nobody would be surprised if I brought my sister along in the mouth. You know, it would be really fun. What? And I'm going to turn into carrot too. <laughs> right, so that kind of defeated the purpose. Right, and I'll go back to being. <laughs> I guess we rest. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> first watch. Uh, you and I? Mm. I'm going to spend the first little bit like writing my journal before really I talk. down. Uh, it wasn't better. I me spend one of these. Unnatural 20. Oh, my man. 14. 14. Ouch, man. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, first watch, the, the sky continues to lighten uh, a good bit. Um, it's fairly quiet up in the mountains. The, the, the wind sort of blows up, up, the, <clears throat> up the pass and brings a a little bit of warmth to it. Not a lot. It is autumn after all. Um, it does rustle in the trees a good bit. What trees there are, uh, which have turned a lot further um, color-wise than down, uh, down closer to town. <clears throat> um, every so often it's the, the, the sounds of, you know, rocks shifting up the, up the slope and you come tumbling down a little bit. It's hard to tell if they're um, if they're being moved dislodged by something or if it's just the wind doing it. Um, but you're definitely sort of on edge just a little bit. Uh, Olmo pretty much lay, lays down like he did next to the fire, starts lightly snoring for the first watch. So, do you want me to show you some of these stances? Uh, maybe not right now. Okay. Probably best to keep watch more than trying to practice stances. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Second watch. <laughs> I rolled 14. 14? Nice, guys. That one. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Um, the, the, the whole idea of, of, of shifting and sleeping during the day just doesn't work. Um, you, you've also not had any decent tea for the last couple of days, so that's really bugging you. I didn't bring my teas in my room at the end. Yep, you didn't bring any with you. I really miss tea. We have not tea! Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. So, yeah, you, you're not seeing just a whole lot. Um, and, and you had, what, a 14? Okay. Um, <laughs> because of the wind, um, they are almost on you when you actually hear them, oh, but oh. you do hear, you do start to hear the, the clip clop of, of horse, horses on the road. Silent damage. Okay, what are you making? I'm just saying everything that's already there, just without us. Okay. So you're just making yourselves invisible. <laughs> <laughs> invisible. Hmm. Not sure it works that way. I mean, as long as we're all within a 15 yeah. foot. Cube. I'm going to wake everybody up, but like. I'm just making an image of the place that was already there. Okay. And um, not long after um, you do hear, uh, not long after you hear it, um, you do see a column of Imperial Guards, about a dozen or so, go riding by. Um, half a dozen or so of them have 
their crossbows sort of slung over their back. Um, the other half dozen have swords at their sides, and it, you know they just keep walking, uh, keep riding down the road. They get about 50 yards or so down the road, and you see the officer in charge sort of cock his head just a little bit, and he puts a gauntleted fist up and calls a halt, <laughs> and he sort of spins in place. He's checking the direction of the wind, and he turns, and he sort of points back up the direction that the column had come. And you see him testing the air with his nose. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use gust to start containing the smoke. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for notes. And he he sits there, sort of gazing back up at you guys for a very long time, as though trying to pick out. Something. <laughs> go away, go away, go away. I'm gonna hold minor illusion. Just gonna hold an action to stumble out into the road. I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody does, it should be me. <laughs> but after after two or three very tense minutes, he he sort of shakes his head and turns. And motions the column forward, and they continue along the road. This spell only lasts ten minutes, so I recast it at the end of that. Well, by that point, the the last the last of the column is passing out of sight. So I've just been standing in front of our fire, going. <laughs> so you're the only one that does magic, right? Yep. Yeah, I call bullshit. I mean, I kind of thought this cat was already out of the bag, not gonna lie. Are we good? Can I stop? Nope, keep going. All right. <laughs> just keep that. Keep, yep, keep. You know, yep. we could just put it out. Yep, just keep that going. So keep going. <laughs> we have to be safe. Keep going. And Alma's going to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am on watch, so... I'm on watch. Next, so yeah. yeah so, we're... third watch. Like, how, right. how, how do you deal with that? I don't think he's a lot, man. <laughs> so, roll yours with disadvantage because you are trying to control the smoke. I'm not even trying. I'm okay. just watching Simi. Okay. <laughs> 12. 12? Oof. Okay. It's not great. Um, yeah, so ma mainly just the sounds in the canyon, or in the in the past there. Uh, wind in the trees. Um, you, you're kind of distracted by Killian's arm mm -hmm. waving there. I probably won't talk very much this time since we did have somebody pass by recently. Okay. But in between things, like I'll, I'll since there's somebody else who's on watch ish uh -huh. um, that I don't realize is just sitting there and watching <laughs> me. I, I will occasionally take out my notebook and like scribble some things down. Okay. And things like that. All right. Well, that was surprisingly little punching. I didn't punch him last night and I was a lot more mad. You didn't punch him last night? Did I punch you last night? <laughs> like he No, said. there there was no punching last night. Ah, well, good. I mean, don't 
I'm not sorry. I punched him the first time. I didn't think you would be. Okay. But, yeah, I didn't, didn't feel particularly compelled to punch him again. Oh, good. This again. Forest cows. <laughs> Dang it. The forest cows always bring death. <laughs> Just not ours, usually. So... It's it's about time for everybody to be getting up anyway, and there are sounds from up on the sides of the valley coming down towards you guys. Um, it looks to be half a dozen to a dozen goblins. Are they are they like talking amongst themselves or are they quiet? I mean, they're, obviously, they're 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 being fairly loud. But like they're singing conversation or, or like dude more li- it actually sounds more like marching sounds marching music marching okay. like something to to keep them in in time and rhythm more than anything so do we just want to like hide off the side of the road and let them go by mm-hmm Okay. I don't feel like we need to do this fight. Silent image. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you doing your thing with the fire smoke still? I would imagine we would have put At it out. At this we point, put we've, out. Uh, we've put it out. Okay, yeah. and I will use control flames to cool it down super, super cold. Okay. So that we, we, it's not still slowly... So if I still still see like a lot of smoke or it still smells really heavily of smoke, I will. But mm-hmm. I'm, I don't. I think we're good. Okay. All right. So, so you guys sort of hunker down a little bit and 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 quietly watch as this. Calling it a column is just. It's, it's disrespectful to columns. Yeah, it's disrespectful <laughs> to columns. It's sort of a a hodgepodge of, of goblins there's like i say there's about a dozen or, or more of them um that are sort of advancing down the road um there's a couple that are riding on wargs that are are um, sort of out front and leading the leading the pack as as they as they advance and they're they're trying to you or they're just they're they're moving down the road and it looks like they're sort of watching both sides and and looking for something you're not real sure what the poop from the animals that passed earlier dinner or <laughs> a scouting party that went missing <laughs> Would an insight check? <laughs> Can we insight me... goblins? Yeah, I don't know. Does it look like you're trying to figure it out? I mean, because I don't know what that would entail. But yeah, I don't either. Uh, like, would it require me to get out where I would be visible, or could I kind of like pay attention to what it is that they seem to be paying the most attention to and figure out? I mean, you can do it from. I mean, you're you're hiding anyway inside his illusion, so you could you could make the check from where you are without having to expose yourself. Oh, that's eighteen plus five, so twenty-three. Oh, okay. They're looking for something specific, and they do actually sort of just gloss right past the obvious animal leavings. From, from the soldiers earlier. So whatever they're looking for, that's not it. So I can't make fun of them for their shit-eaten smiles. Okay. Um, I mean, you can still do that. I can do that. Are they paying attention to anything more than anything else? Like any particular clues or anything like that? <sighs> I mean, it, it looks like they're paying attention to um, to something that's been sort of either scratched or marked 
along the side of the road. But you're having a hard time from where you are seeing what they're actually specifically looking at. That'll be a thing to investigate later. So they don't fall into the pit. How many goblins is this, roughly? Uh, at least a dozen, maybe more. It's kind of hard to, to count because they keep shifting and moving around. Why do you think we put our hideout out here? Because you like goblins? I don't know. Well, if the soldiers have to deal with them, they're not looking for us. Good point. That's fair. It's camouflage in a way. Hmm. And believe me, I know about camouflage. So the, the, the goblin horde passes on uh, down the road. They, they, they keep checking you know, the sides and looking at things and continuing, continue on down the road. Um, before long, they pass out of sight, and you guys are able to move along. Um, Almo leads you guys off up the road into, deeper into the, the pass, about five hours or so up the road. Um, it's starting to get dark again, fairly dark. Um, stars are starting to come out. He turns off the main road to the east. It, it's a fairly narrow game trail, goat path, deer trail, something, and it leads up into the mountains. Um, for another two or three hours, the trail winds back and forth, climbing higher and higher and higher into the mountains. Uh, when it finally levels off, you have gained at least 1,500 feet in elevation. Thank you, Poser. Thank you, Poser. Thank you. And can see the road below you. Um, or would be able to see the road below you if it wasn't, like, super, super dark. Um, watch your steps, he tells you. Um, a misstep here could, uh, well, be disastrous at this point. Mm -hmm. So do be careful. Um, the path narrows. Um, you, you are having to take it single file. Um... And for another half hour or so, um, it continues along. At the end of that time, it opens up a little bit onto a very small shelf um, that looks out over a secluded valley that the road does not pass through. Against the wall, there is another sort of ir very narrow, irregular cleft like the one that you found Olmo in to start with. This is, this is the place. Great, yeah, very well hidden. Definitely would not have found Thank us. you, Mr. Young. After you. <laughs> uh, Okay. And, and <laughs> he clearly missed the reference. That's okay. <laughs> um, he, he, he leads you into... Uh -oh. so, so he leads off into, into the cleft. Um, it is just as dark as the one previous. Those of you who do not have um, dark vision, the going is very, very rough. Um... Uh, you, you catch your toe on, on several outcroppings. That's a bad word, cabbage. I can't really say anything. You were thinking it. <laughs> and, and, and the cleft um, winds back and forth, and you do feel it start to, to descend um, a little bit, so you feel yourself going back downhill. 
gonna be like a caldera or something we're walking into. I don't think so, no. Why? Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to die of, you know, lava. In the volcano. That's what I was asking, just making sure. You, you sure you got enough sleep? Ice? What? You sure you got enough sleep? You uh, yeah. You feeling all right? Yes. Okay. There is a vice? Is that a thing? He just said he didn't want to die by lava. Oh. Ice might be preferable. We don't ignore them. I can do that. After about ten minutes or so of winding back and forth and, and descending, um, the path opens up. Uh, there is, unlike the previous hideout, there are no torches burning here. Um, so it, it, it widens out, and um, those of you who can see notice that it, it widens out to about 20 feet on a side. The ceiling is about 20 feet up. Uh, for cap for you, cabbage, it's you, you just you kind of hear that you're in a in a bigger space, but you can't see anything. It is it is pitch black. Olmo goes over to um, sort of a, a a central central. Column almost. It, it, it looks like maybe a place where the where, where a stalactite has met a stalagmite and uh, uh, has formed a column in the center of the room. And he strikes a flint and steel and lights uh, a a very small torch that is hanging there. And as he does, you do see that there are several strong boxes that are um, pushed back against the walls. Make me a perception check. Everybody. Everybody. Oh my Natural gosh. 20. Natural You're 20? Fired. Okay. Seven. Seven. Ten. Ten. Natural 20. Natural. Sit nice. here and think about what you've done. Eleven. Eleven? Thirteen. Thirteen? For some reason, see me, you are just distracted. Everybody else, everyone who made a two. Your night vision still. Yeah, my eyes are adjusting because I was night visioning and now I'm not. Really so weird. for everyone else that made a 10 or higher, mm -hmm. the back wall of the cavern is not natural. It has been worked. It has worked stone blocks. And... How old? <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty old. I, I, I'm, go, I'm going up to it. I'm looking at it, and I'm like... Oh, you, I'm you don't have to look very, very hard at all. At the very top of the wall, where it meets the... the mm -hmm. Where it meets sort of the roof of the cavern, there is a crest. And worked into the crest... <laughs> Is a hammer and a pair of tongs on top of an anvil. Diggy, diggy, huh. And that's what? where we'll cut it off for the night. Oh, <laughs> no, no, keep going. <laughs> Terrible person. Keep, keep I still have like there. a good solid hour. Come on, Keith. Come it's on. only 830. We can uh, keep okay, going. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Hey. We'll keep going. Unless you need to go. Too much longer. <laughs> we'll, we'll go another half no, no, hour. No, no, half okay. an hour. So, so yeah. You? Huh. Sorry, it's my Now, the, <laughs> the so, so they're set there, and they're set there on top of the anvil, and the, and the whole thing looks suspiciously like um, something that you have seen recently <laughs> would fit in the hollow where, where they are. Hmm. So, uh, how'd you, how'd you find out about this place? Oh, uh, we just stumbled onto it, really. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, 
this is what I'm thinking it is. Oh, so well, this is absolutely what you're thinking it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's really convenient. I'm going to pull up... Uh, what's my spell that does Dancing light? Dancing lights. Mm-hmm. Dancing lights. lights and look closer at yep. the wall. Yep, that's definitely the place. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's really good craftsmanship. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what this place is? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Mm-hmm. What is this? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the ancient dwarven city where their empire fell. What? We're we really I... flipped around the folks that... Never mind. I... It's not a secret that there was an ancient dwarven city and an empire that fell here. Congratulations, you found it. Well done. Oh. <laughs> yep. Good job. Huh. Yep. <laughs> huh. Yep. Do you need to sit down for a minute? Maybe. There's birds in here. <laughs> Bats. We should, we should really get them out. They're not going to be happy. You might want to relocate your strong box hiding place. Well, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean... No, 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 because there, there are going to be people that are going to want to come find this. We are emptying. Well, I mean, the Empire... Yeah, I... Yeah, you're taking the money back to the... Yeah, no, no, no. I, I was just making sure you knew that, like, you're not going to want to... Come back. You're not going to want to reuse this for also, anything. Also, we not know where there. it is. So, no offense, but I don't imagine that you would be likely to reuse a place that we know about. Well, also, he's going to be working with us for further plans. Oh, he's he is? Is that the plan? Oh. Uh, <laughs> when, well, when did that happen? That was my understanding of the uh, we work together thing, correct? To make sure that uh, something this massively stupid doesn't happen again. Uh, Okay, Uh, Simi, are you suggesting (coughs) that we help him head a rebellion against the Empire? That if he's going to do something, maybe he consults people that are in the town so that maybe they'll tell him if it's going to, I don't know... That is not an answer to the question that was asked. Are you volunteering to lead a resistance movement? To lead a resistance? No. Then shush. (laughs) (laughs) So. Excuse you. (laughs) Wow. I'm trying to hide from the Empire, remember? He, he has had it up to here! <laughs> I'm trying to hide from the Empire, remember? So and you want to bring an entire army down upon the area which no, I am living? I want I mean, that to not happen. That's why you should probably consult with the people who live here. Also, he, you know, he definitely doesn't have anything to do with the Empire, guys. So I get that you all haven't lived your life needing to, like, keep secrets and, you know. Why do you talk? (laughs) I haven't said anything. No, Adrian! What? (laughs) He's hiding from the Empire, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really really not all that worried about it. You don't have to be worried about it to know that you should probably not say things. Again, their whole organization, right? They're like, oh yeah, we're not going to tell people because those people could then spread stuff when they inevitably get caught and tortured by the Empire. Yeah, but how do I put this? If he's hiding from the Empire, he won't out me out from the Empire because then I will out him out for hiding from the Empire. I mean, neither right? of you really know that about each other. So I mean, No, no, I'm, I'm 100% confident he is hiding from the Empire. Well... One hundred percent. The hiding part they know about each other. They don't know whether or not one or the other would be willing to rat the other one out for whatever. Anyway, purposes. leverage deals, whatever. So you want to make sure you pack this up. You don't come back. Yeah. That makes sense. Because <laughs> I'm gonna Try definitely to have to come back and open that. <laughs> 
Yeah, but future reference, Helme is right. You should probably not go around like uh, advertising anyway. the fact that you're hiding from the empire. Right. So, as Alma, uh, as uh, not Alma, as um, Adrian steps well, close yeah. to the wall, <laughs> his form wavers. And the crossbow's coming up. Yep. Oh, you have uh, freaking changed me! All right, you have exactly ten seconds to, to answer why your form is wavering like that. One. Um, two. It's gone. Uh, it, it's it's not gone, but it's 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 shimmering. Three. And shifting. Four. Hi, hang on. Five. This, this looks like he doesn't actually confused. know what's going on. Which I know is not Five abnormal. and a half. Well, that's not Wait, good. Is, not Six. Is, this not, is this not something? Six. That, as you step away from the, sure as you step away from the wall, confused? it it stops shimmering. Seven. <gasps> Wait. Seven Wait. and a half. Yes. Killian. He has it. to start explaining, or I'm gonna assume he's not who he says he is. I'm not sure what that was. Can I step close to the wall? Sure. Does anything happen? No. Well, why don't you go touch the wall? I don't know if I want to. <laughs> That's fair. Let me rephrase that. Why don't you go touch the wall, please? Your dream. I like. We we have now we now might have three people in this group who are not what they look like. I I'm I'm getting real distrusting of people. He looks genuinely surprised. Right, or he's just a really he's good actor. Good. Touch the wall, please. <laughs> I'd like to insight check. <laughs> Oh, that kind of sucked a little. Um, 14. <laughs> well. Yeah. I know what's going on. So, touch the damn wall. You have five seconds. How concerned do you look at this? As concerned as I look right now. <laughs> Four. Wait. Three. Why? Three and a half. You hold it! Killian. Adrian, you really do need to explain this in pretty quickly. What's happening? Three and a quarter. <laughs> do not make me come over there! So you went from a half to a quarter? <laughs> He's really <rewound. laughs> I'm gonna hug you real quick. Oh. Three. Sorry. Weird. And I will touch the door. Okay. It. Adrian's form melts away. Whoa! What? What? Yes. Would you like to describe what you look like now? You see uh, a very androgynous looking uh, character, male, uh, with long red hair that comes into a ponytail to about right here. You recognize uh, him. Very recognize somewhat him? feminine features, but yep. indeed male. Okay. Remember the girl clothes you trade on? You're going to have to explain where my friend Adrian is, and you better start doing it really fast. Are you the really freaking fast. prince? Yes. Yeah, that's how that works. Where is my brother? Uh. I am only going to give you ten seconds. Actually, I'm with him on this one. Nine. Killian. Eight. <laughs> seven. I, six. Uh, this individual starts crying. Five. Speak. Four. Killian. Three. Don't two. He's. Drop my hand. If the answer is dead, just say it. Yes. Why? <laughs> Protecting me. When? Three months, one week, and six days ago. How? A speckled band. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to explain that. A snake. Okay. Yeah. Why was he protecting you from a snake? <laughs> well... <laughs> he happened to be in the room, and uh, he got bit instead of me. Okay, and why was there a snake that kills people in your room? Because I'm a prince. Yeah, I already got that. You're gonna have to uh, do better. A uh, so welcome to our group. <laughs> family espionage dynamic. 
Okay, so someone tried to kill you and your bodyguard's dead instead. So you ran away hiding as your bodyguard. You came here, found he had a whole bunch of friends that he'd already told you about because you were such good pals, and then you pretended to be him to our faces this whole time. And I punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> running down my face and just totally misjudge my distance. Now, I hope you realize how much shit you're just in right now. Yeah. Good. Killian. What? I I realize you're upset. But... Yeah, I'm a little upset that the man who was there when my friend died... Decided it'd be fun to come to his hometown, masquerade as him, convince his friends and think, family that he was back and alive, and plan on never telling us. Think about what he's been through. That does not excuse the fact that he was going to keep this hidden from us for as long as he possibly can. He was right on that one. See, it'd be one thing. Him? Yes! Why? It'd be one thing if he was unsure how to approach us, but after we've had our little conversation about explaining to everybody what's going on and being open and honest with each other, and he decided to lie about all this. Nothing happens. Okay, but... I mean, it makes sense, but... You're doesn't get a free pass. badly right now. Does not get a free pass. So, what... What... I mean, what... I what? would hide it, too. Oh, right, okay, so you would show up masquerading as a, your friend who's now dead and tell his friends and family that you're actually alive and pretend to be him for the rest of your life. That's, That's your plan. That's what it took? No wonder this empire's so screwed up. I know that one's for certain. Yeah, you s- stand there, turn around, face the wall. I'm not even... Are the taxes here? Yeah, I mean, there's there's four strong boxes <laughs> against the wall. Great, fan-freaking-tastic. I'm going to open my pack and dump each strong box into it. <laughs> And I'm going to close it. I'm going to throw it up. You can leave now. Thanks for your help. Come find me sometime in town. We have things we might want to discuss. So, bag of holding? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 yes, I just set these enormous, <laughs> these enormous strong boxes. Killian flips open the lid, dumps it into a fairly nondescript looking I bag. I don't open the lid. I, whole strong <laughs> box. <laughs> I, I, don't see I don't know that it would fit. Okay, then I'll dump it in. Yeah. Okay. You. What is your name? It's... My uh, we didn't ask you, we asked him. Milo Varian Serenathi. Milo. I'm calling you Milo. Yeah. That's his name. Okay. Why didn't you just... Stop right there. <laughs> We're going to end it. No, everyone, no. everyone at the okay. table recognizes that name. Of course we do. Yeah. Okay. It's the prince. He's yeah. the prince. Yeah. He's the prince yeah. who's like, missing. Make okay. this connection. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure that that, that, okay. that was yeah. clear yeah. for you yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. I just want to make no, sure. No, that was like a whole half an hour discussing it. <laughs> Episode two. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I knew who he was. I couldn't, Cabbage could not remember his name. Because yes. she didn't care. We did okay. Two it. minutes ago. Okay. Just making sure. Why didn't you just tell us? We did say cards on the table, my I friend. I feel like all of your reactions are Well, to be fair, I didn't know how to melt away, as it were. Uh, yeah. So. Timmy? brought me a gift. Well, that one actually was from Adrian. Why on earth would we believe you? I, we have literally no reason to believe a single thing you tell us. You are by far the least trustworthy person in this room. 
And Alma's in this room. (laughs) (laughs) You've called me sis. You've hugged me. You've let me hug you. I don't even know you. Well, I can't go back to town. But I also don't want to kill him. Is it gone, gone? We're not going to kill the prince. Only as long as you are close to the wall. So if I move away... If you move away, you become Adrian again. Okay. Do you move away? I will try. Take one more step and I will shoot you. (sighs) It's going to be another long night. Yep. (laughs) Okay, so the missing prince is actually in our town. He's pretending to be someone he isn't. Although he has done a remarkably good job of that for now. What are we going to do about this? Wait, we had this whole conversation about how you changed. It's because you're not fucking you. Yep. So, thoughts, anyone? What are we going to do with the prince that the entire empire is looking for? Because they'd like to kill him. Maybe we should ask him that. I don't really care what he wants us to do. He's pretended to be someone he's not. For how long? And he was going to just keep doing it? I don't really trust his judgment right now. We can't take him back to town because if they find him there, everyone in town is screwed gonna find him because he's oh they're not gonna find him because he's so well hidden yeah till they have a whole group of people who can use magic out looking for him and notice that that's not real they can't do that easily they can do that but they can't do that easily well oh but adrian's dead so they don't think he would have come here Which is why you ran he- no, you ran here. So they're not actually looking for Adrian? No, but if anybody mm-hmm. finds him and recognizes him and knows that he's dead, that's going to be a problem. Did you even bury his body? Yes. Where? At the Empire's graveyard in Costas. Oh, fan-freaking-tastic. Isn't that exclusively for royalty? Well, when you know people, you can get things done. Also, if that body was supposed to be him because he's dead. Well, no, he's missing. No one knows Adrian. As far as I know, no one knows Adrian's dead. Oh, Oh, great. So they are looking for him then. Fantastic. Not necessarily. Well, little prince, you see, he was your bodyguard, and now you're missing. Who do you think they're going to come looking for? I'd look for his bodyguard. That's a good bet who'd know where to find him. A bodyguard who went missing a month before I left? Yeah. It's not like they don't have the resources to look for whoever they want. So what are we going to do with him? I'm inclined to say, hit the road, hope you have a good life. But if everything that he's told us about what happened... Oh, what, they wound up in some weird place and got some weird powers from some mystical heart thing? Is that true? Yeah. He does have two heartbeats that kind of checks out. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I care that he found some mystical heart in the center of some godforsaken empire. If everything that the Empire is built upon is a lie... Yeah? ...then the infrastructure of everything... ...is going to collapse or reform... ...in ways that will not be... ...ideal. Yep. 
still, or any of us. Still don't know why I care. Why I don't know what that matters to the man who pretended to be he someone he's not for this whole time. He, his eyes have not left Milo this whole time. What everyone else wants to do. Will oh, and I... kill you? Yes, yeah, that's definitely please. on my mind. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, why does everybody want to kill you again? Because he's supposed to take down the Empire or some nonsense. Prophecy, yeah. Want to take down an Empire? I'm talking to Simi. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do anymore. I don't either, but... <laughs> you lied to our mother. To my mother. She's not your mother. Yeah. And I don't know how to even speak to the woman yet. You want it so badly to get out of your own life that you're willing to pretend to be someone else, huh? Not by choice. Oh, <laughs> you didn't choose to come here and lie to all of us? Well, no, I didn't choose Adrian's form. So how Wait. did you come by it? I asked this damn thing to help me hide, and then its hubris changed me into Adrian. Okay, so that part isn't your fault. But it doesn't change the fact that he still was willing no, to protect No, he definitely me. lied. It was terrible. That was Would you have fault. believed him if he had told you? Yes. Maybe. If he had said, hey, I look like Adrian, but I'm actually not, yeah, I'd probably be inclined to believe him, because why on earth would anyone say that when that wasn't true? Why would anyone pretend to be Adrian? Well, it does explain why he actually likes you now, Alma. Sorry. A Adrian didn't really like y'all that much. That's I think deep down lie. he did. I think no, deep down he did. That's, but that's the truth. I think that you were directing your anger in the wrong place. You're probably right. right. Now. Yes. You're probably right. Not say that so well. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Alma. If it's any consolation, I have enjoyed your company. I don't think it is, but thank you. I don't think that's helpful. So, what are we doing with him? <laughs> How? If, if he doesn't come back... If he doesn't come back, I have to tell my mother that he... Died. Oh, it doesn't matter what we do, we're gonna have to come up with something, because if he comes back, you have to continue to pretend when you're around his mother that this is her son and your loving brother, who you love so much. Yeah, there's just not really a good way to deal with this particular problem. Can we go home? At all? I mean, we can. The question is, does he come with us? You're just gonna abandon him? Oh, I think he can fend just fine for himself. How well did you know my brother? And I have two rings in my hand. <laughs> they are a wedding band. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> ah! I thought I was right about that one. <laughs> the title of the book doesn't change. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I have so much yes. of a headache. Yes. 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 So. Yep. That means technically, well, he wasn't your brother. He's your brother-in-law. He is your stepbrother. Well, no, no, that's not true. So, to be fair, we haven't got married yet. He died before that happened. (laughs) (laughs) You're flashing back now to all of those times that Adrian, before he left for the capital, got so flustered with Tangui. Yep. Yeah, the rapier wasn't the only sword you're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's so good. I didn't even use this one yet. Holy crap, Brayden, you win yeah, this. And that one is the only one I will ever do. Oh my gosh. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow. Charm person. <laughs> I will fail. Okay. You can ask him whatever you want. What'd you do? Um, I used magic. So what? What are you specifically? I mean, what are you, you using? What effect are you looking for with the charm person? Basically, I'm just saying answer everything honestly. Okay. Remember that all the cards are on the table. Were you really betrothed to my brother? Legally, no. We wanted to, but the Empire is... And my mother is very set upon certain traditions. Okay. I feel that. Okay. (sighs) What? Um, oh, I forgot. Nope, you don't get to say anything. Right now. <laughs> I mean, Sorry. I, I really don't, do I? Not right now. No. We'll talk later. Okay. Not even. Th- do you even have any idea of what you'd like to say? Because I don't really. Ah, oh, you probably do. This is probably right up your alley. You probably know exactly what you'd like to do with this. Yeah, but I'm going to leave it alone for the time being. That's probably a good idea. I don't know. Why? Maybe that's not a half bad idea. No. No? No. Not unless that's what he wants. What was your plan? You can't have imagined that this was going to go totally unnoticed forever. No, not forever. Just long enough to do what this thing wants and hopefully bring him back. You can bring him back? You think you can bring it back? If I find all of its kin, I think I can. It? <laughs> yeah, the weird, yeah, creepy heart the thing. The weird, creepy heart it thing. It has kin? Apparently there's yes. multiple of it. And hopefully, I think it, it, I made a promise with it that if I do whatever it wants, he'll bring him back. So I was hoping to get all of this done before I had to back into Milo. Back into myself. I wasn't trying to deceive you all. And I'm going to stop you right there before you start spewing any more shit. Because that part was definitely not true. You did try to deceive us all. I'm not sure that I would say... Except I am telling the truth. Yes. I believe you right now. But I don't think you intended harm by deceiving us. That doesn't mean you weren't trying to deceive us. Sometimes there's not always a good explanation. Come on, honestly, you just so gave me one of the best ones I could ask for in this situation. There aren't that many things. Lucia. 
what do we want to do? How do we want to explain? Do we want to keep? Do you want to keep pretending he's your brother? Do you want to say that he died? He ran off. What do you want to do? There's a chance that I could have him back. Big friggin' lughead that he is. I was. Shut your face, you don't get to talk right now. Mm. You're the one who's gotta keep up the charade, whatever it is. What do you want to do? I haven't had the opportunity to have family very much in my life. If he and my brother were involved, involved, yeah, then. And there's the possibility that maybe I could get my brother back and know him better. I think maybe it would be worth trying what he had originally set out for. Okay, but do you want to go back to town and pretend he's Adrian? It's either that or admit a whole lot of stuff that doesn't make any kind of sense to anyone. Or we have to fake someone's death. I think it might be easier for me to just be okay <coughs> with this. I mean, faking a death is within our skill set. It's your call. Whatever we do, you're the one who has to to keep up the deception, so... When you step away from this wall, you still look like Adrian, whether you want to or not, correct? Mm. I think that's our answer. Okay. Great. So, um, we go about trying to find the other dead heart things. Sounds like it, yeah. My only clue at the moment is when I was talking to your little shrub thing at the uh -huh. grandmother's thing. The only clue I have is something out of sunken city. Great. We'll get right to work on that. Yep, we found Great. it. Yeah, that's the door. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Just Again, for everyone that found it. Well, that's amazing. Uh, it's a good chance, but it's still a maybe. You know we're several thousand feet above any possibility of this being sunken, right? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Actually, that kind of depends on exactly how big the city is and how deep it goes. Or if there was a lake above it when they built it in the mountains. There wasn't a lake above it when they built it, but there was definitely a lake inside of it afterwards. Yep. Wait, I don't know that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> This thing responds to you. Should we see if there's anything else here for us before we go right anywhere now. else? You mean like everybody step up to the wall, or because like we're not opening that right now. I know how to open that. We're not opening it right now. Okay, if you know how. I know how, but we can't do it right now. Okay, okay. And without really consulting anyone or anything like that, she just turns and walks out of the cave. Like. Just taking a... I'm just going to assume we don't have to have the whole talk about, like, you don't you don't talk to other people about what you saw here. Again, I'm not real sure who I talk to yeah. about it. If we find out that you did put us in danger because you were here for all this and we didn't kill you right now, I will come for you. And on I a, will kill you. On a different note. Sounds fair. And I will kill just you. Just so we're clear. If you feel like um, 
helping in this endeavour because it seems like it's kind of aligned with what you want. Keep in touch. I'll do that. What is your plan at this point? Well... There seems to be one way out. I don't out. really have one at the moment. The plans I had are no longer valid, although... <clears throat> yep. All sorts of opportunities present themselves. Yep. Uh, a thought for your plans. So you want to start some big, great rebellion against the Empire, right? You want to tear it down and see it done away, all that, all that jazz? Yes. Um... So, mm, doing things that are going to draw the Empire here looking for you, probably a bad way to start, unless you're ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I'm beginning to see your point. Better idea. Why don't you start up a band... I mean, okay, so the Imperial Garrison's only in Setterton right now, because we've had all those weird reptile... Dragons? It... That's that's not a real word. <laughs> it, that's not a real thing. Business. Yeah, it's it's a made up word. What's that? <laughs> you don't know the word. Made up. I mean, the word, as far as words, you know, is made up. Aren't all words made up? Yep. Okay, that's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> see. Do we want to call them dragons then? Sure. Okay, sure. The dragon things, right? Fell from the sky. Right. So if you started a band of people. And you said you were training people to, to help the militia hunt them down. I don't know, call yourselves a band of hunters or whatever. You'd have a chance to deal with our problem so that the garrison doesn't actually have to stay in town anymore. Which would make it a lot easier for you to do what you want. And you'd be able to train people with a good excuse for why you're training them how to fight. So that they'd actually be able to fight. So when the Empire inevitably comes looking for you, you actually have people trained up. And if you do this right... You build camaraderie with them. You can start to slowly introduce them to the idea that maybe the Empire is not all that great. And eventually, you'll have a solid base of people to work with who will support your cause instead of lying to them and them thinking they're just in it for the money or something. It's actually a really good idea. It's, yeah, that's not a bad idea. So, something you might want to think about. If you'd like to go that route and you'd like some help, come find me. Love to help. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. So we're uh, definitely getting involved in... Um... At this point, okay, so I'm pretty motivated, too. Do you have feelings about this, Alma? No. Apparently, the Empire's such a crappy place that the prince of their whole thing wanted to hide from his family and thought it was better to pretend to be Adrian, as much as I love him, to pretend to be this guy from the middle of nowhere and come out here and live a fake life than to actually keep trying to live his actual life. That seems really screwed up to me. And I'm going to take the fact that Mizuki thought that that was a perfectly normal way to handle the situation. <laughs> There's evidence that it is not an isolated incident, but is in fact indicative of a greater problem in the Empire. I'm not saying I have any love for the Empire, but I just... I mean, that's a pretty big jump, guys. Like... One minute we're fighting bandits who are stealing taxes from the Empire, and now we're saying we're going to try to overthrow the Empire. Well, I think I'm what we're starting... I'm just saying it bears more thought than... Sure, sure, and, and we definitely don't all have to do that, and we definitely don't have to start there. I just... The place that motivates me is that if we can possibly have a way of getting Adrian back, that's a good thing. Yeah. Apparently he didn't like me, but... Well, have, have you ever read those books where there's like... You're not going to help. Yes, yeah, okay, I'll try later. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> but we can bring our friend back, and it is a big jump, but it sound, the more and more that I hear, it sounds like... We need a new system of government, like really badly. Look, maybe we should talk to my dad. That's a very That's good idea. That's not a bad idea. idea. I'm not saying we don't, you know, outsource here and try to, like... <laughs> I'm not talking about outsourcing. Not see what your dad that. thinks and see what, what he thinks we should do? Yeah, opinions mm -hmm. are a great Something like thing. that. But I'm, I'm, 
I think that's I'm a good idea. I'm more towards getting involved here. Just, I want to make sure that you guys have all thought about it. Also, someone should make sure that Simi hasn't gone and hung herself or something outside. <laughs> that's a good point. What? Uh, I think that we need... Are you coming with us? I have other work to do. I think it would also be best if you didn't come back into town with us. Yeah, so yeah. before we go anywhere else, we better go get, um, actually, and before you leave, too, we better go get Lucia, and we better... We're gonna have to explain to the Imperial Guard how we found our way to the taxes. Um, we just go back to the base that we were at before. You can find your cloak thing. It's been too long. Why? It It's taken us too long for that to work. I don't see why, if it took us we'll that long to find it. You have a work piece that we came out no, of this area first, and then... Okay, that. so, the last time they saw us was when we went chasing off after you, and we they know that we were tracking down the bandits. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are going to want details. Lots of details about how we found them, where they were. You don't get a talk. I... Where they were, and how we got here. We're going to have to come up with a convincing story, and I think the first place we should start is keeping it as close to the truth as possible. So we say we were... I don't know, tracking more bandits from that base. We track them out towards here. I'm thinking maybe we dig up a place in the ground and have sort of a mock battle so it looks like we can say that we came up on them and we tried to fight them so and we scared them off. Yeah, they threatened to tie me and Mizuki up and interrogate us. I, I want to make sure this is a really, really good story so we don't have to deal with that. Milo, do you it have an idea? Unvoiced threat, but it was there. We explained that we followed the trail after uh, uh, the guy that you killed. Devin? Dev not Devin. The, uh, no, no. Cow the cow. Cow. Cowbunga. Yeah. Cow that guy. Cowbunga. And Cowbunga. then we had an epic magic battle with him. And we found a guy uh, <coughs> who led us towards where they buried the... He uh, locked boxes. It, he took us south, we undug the boxes, and then he, the guy escaped. And then now we're coming back from the south from undigging the lock boxes and something else returning. that bears noting, do you want to lead the empire that you're talking about maybe overthrowing to this place? Uh, no, to not this here. place? I'm just, no. no. No, we're talking about we're digging talking, some hole somewhere else. Yeah, we're talking like Right, we, we make it look the like they had the... buried the taxes yeah. somewhere. It just needs to be convincing that we've been gone for so long. Right, it needs to be close enough to here, like maybe just outside the mountains, that it explains why it's been a few days since we've showed up in town. And we right. can also say that we tried tracking the guy who ran away after we got the lock boxes, but lost him. Yeah, um, Olmo. Yes? If we tell them that... <laughs> Uh, one of your people escaped and we were tracking him. What direction would you like us to say he ran in? Where would you like us to send the patrols looking for this guy? We can always say that he headed back towards care? Lamont's wells. Are they trying to escape bother? the valley? And they, then... they might, and more importantly, they might suspect that whatever area he heads off for is where there's more bandits or something. I just want to make sure we're not throwing him in a direction that's going to cause him problems later on. Actually, I like the idea of trying to escape the valley, so back west towards okay. Lamont's Wells. So, Why? the plan mm -hmm. then, we'll go dig a hole somewhere. We should probably stage like a mock, like, oh, we tried to shoot at him and we tried to capture him as he ran away, but we missed. That way, if they really want to look into it, they can find evidence that that actually happened. Because they're going to be really upset that we don't bring them dead bodies and that we don't tell them where the base is, where they can capture all the people. That's really what they want. So, we tell them that that's what happened, we make it look like that's actually what happened, so if they come looking, it all checks out. They still won't be happy, but at least then it doesn't look like we were lying to them. Yeah. Can I move away from this wall now? Yes. Sure. So as you get about ten feet away, the shimmery effect starts to happen, and once you're about twenty feet away, you have solidified back as Adrian. That Sorry is about that. somewhat disconcerting. 
I so guess. So. Understatement. No more secrets, right? No. Thank you. All right. Let's go find Simi. Let's go find Simi and tell her that that's what the plan is. So it's daytime now, yes? Or no, it's still it's nighttime? still nighttime. So, is our plan to trek back night times again? No, I don't think. That's Once we've idea. created the the site of where we dug up the the treasure, um, does anybody have any sacks? I have my bag. Um, I might get it because otherwise we're gonna have to carry these strong boxes. Well, I mean, what, well, it's in your weird bo- uh, bag. Yeah, the money, the is, money is. Wait, but because right. what? It's can a very efficient. Bag? It's actually, a very efficient packing system. Actually, we can just. <laughs> well, we can see it if you'd like. Go ahead. Why can't we just bring we, the lock boxes? Oh no no. So when they find the place where it's all dug up. So either we have to bring it back and it all the way up, and you're not shoulder, even at the bottom, and you're nowhere near the bottom, and you don't feel anything. So it, we have to make it look like that's actually where the coins were buried, and they didn't just bury coins loose because that'd be terrible. Right. So they had to have been in sacks or in the strong boxes or something. Nope. <laughs> you're never getting that back. <laughs> actually. <laughs> And I'm going to hold it over his head. Wait, all the coins? No, no, no. I'll hold it over your head, so just the spittle. (laughs) I have a sack right here. Anybody else? I have Uh, my bag. I mean, I've got Uh, We need... So either we're going to have to carry the lock boxes, or we could make it look like they pulled it out of the lock boxes somewhere and Um, stuffed it in sacks. Or or just just tie the lock boxes together and drag them. Yeah, or or that. Like, that's the thing. We just have to take one or the other. Why, why are we? You know, well, if they, I thought they would just bury the left boxes. I they? have. Well, they would, but one they suggestion, have to carry but we yeah, wouldn't we carry necessarily one. have to carry all of them. All I, right. I like that plan. We could carry one of them, and I could make another one. Well, they're all in lock boxes, so why can't we just carry the lock boxes back? No, well, they're heavy. They're we heavy. can, but they're gonna be heavy. I mean, I can carry one. That can also go to our plan of it took us longer because we're carrying lock boxes. Well, but we're not going to bring the lock boxes with us. We're not necessarily going to bring them back. Why are we not? We should bring them back. So, that bag is magic. It just takes me a while, but I can make a replica of them. Wait, but why would we need to? Why don't we just leave them and bring back the money? See, that's what I'm saying. But we have to leave, like, we can't just dig a hole in the ground, because then if the guards come and they look, they're like, ew, it's a hole in the ground. No one would bury just the coins themselves. That would be a terrible way to right. bury coins. It's just yeah. terrible to get them back Take out. Take these with us and go put exactly. them in the hole. Exactly. Or we bring a bunch of sacks and put those in the hole to make it look like they had already emptied the lockboxes into sacks and buried the sacks. It's a lot of work. So I'm just going to pick up a lockbox um, and leave. All right, that's I what think, we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick one up as well. Okay. I'll I mean, we one. don't have okay. to carry all. Like we could. Can you make all of them though? Because they would have known how many lock boxes there were. Would they? I mean, how many shipments went missing? Yeah. yeah. So there were four would. shipments that went missing, and all of them were still locked. Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, not anymore. Right. How are you gonna explain your magic bag? Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dump this out for them. When we get back into town, I'll put them in sacks. Yeah. All right. All right. Because when okay, also, so when we get back into town, I'm gonna have a meeting with. I'm like, I'm thinking we should probably, well, some of us at least, we'll have a meeting with Miss Linhart so we can give her the the money so she'll pay us. But I'm also thinking maybe we ask for the guard captain to be there. And we can let yes. him pretend that his people are the one who found the taxes, because I think he might hate us less if we go that route. Because he still gets all the glory, and we still get paid. So right. should sure. we just leave the... I mean, no, we have to still bring the taxes in, because Linhart's only going to yes. pay us if we bring it to her. Yes, that's true. If anybody else brings it to her, she doesn't have to pay them. Yeah, that's true. And she'd very much not like to not have to pay Indeed, people. Yes. Well, we can always go in the cover of Dawn, knock on her door, bring all the stuff in, and then she can announce that the uh, Imperial Guards 
brought it back. Right, that's kind of what he's saying. Yes. Like that yes. meeting will happen sp mm -hmm. with them so anyway, that we don't the want, like, Lesbury we don't want doesn't get confused. Okay. I'm out there too, yeah. She, so Simi is outside. You see a tree that has like... It has a tree just... hanging from it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that dark. Oh boy. Uh, it's way <laughs> all pretty dark. Um, but there's just like blood all over this tree. Oh. And there's like a little trail of bloody footprints and little droplets of blood that kind of lead down a little ways. <laughs> Gotta follow the trail of blood. At, at some point you just see like this totally like deadpan Simi just walking. <laughs> She's walking very slowly, but just walking. <laughs> Simi? <laughs> Yes. We're going this direction, right? Nope. Totally going west. Mm. Sorry. She kind of turns and goes wherever she is directed to. I'm just gonna <laughs> hug her. She returns the hug, but she's very absent. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Okay, then we're slowly gonna lead her back. Do you have any spell slots left? Are you gonna heal her, or am I? I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, her her knuckles and the tops of her feet are just like hamburger meat. Or I could. <laughs> yeah. So blacksmith. I would, but I don't think she'd want that. So. What what is your oh. blacksmith's name again? Jennifer. Oh. What is his name? Drax. James. Drax. 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 Son of G Gilead. Yeah. So Draxus comes over to you because <laughs> this is this is the same, mm -hmm. yeah, and pulls you into a big hug. And there, I'm gonna cast um, cure wounds. Your knuckles heal over. Oh, for max healing. The tops right. of your feet heal over close up so the pain subsides don't worry about it she kind of like she just sort of sets her head on your chest and oh, big, <laughs> big hug you hear this like strange little of course for you to set your head on the dwarf's oh, chest okay, I forget. He's, he's you're gonna have to get down or smaller than me uh, yeah. um so, kind of, I guess, on the top of his head? <laughs> kind of tall. Um, but uh, you hear this mumble that doesn't seem like it's directed at you. That is just... I wish they would wake me up. And that's, that's all. Like, wake me up or let me die. And I think on that note, we will call it a night. Thank you, everybody. Um, lots of uh, interesting ob um, revelations tonight. So we'll, we will pick this up. Are we level three? Um, we are going to level up between now and Monday. So you guys do that <laughs> before Monday night. Uh, we will see you guys on Monday night at our regular time. So six uh, o'clock six Mountain Time. I leave, we'll leave that up to you guys to figure out what that is in your own particular time zone. We will be back. Until then, you can also check out our YouTube channel. It's a good place for you to go to find all the back episodes. I realized that I'm behind. I think I managed to not upload last episode. Uh, so I'll get that and this one up for you guys before Sunday night um, or Sunday morning. So. You guys should have this one tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock. Um, you can also check out our Discord server. Uh, it's a good place to keep in touch with us and to keep tabs on what news is coming out of this channel, as well as Curie and D Danny's creative streams when they happen. We will see you guys on Monday. Stay tuned and stay uh, stay engaged. Until then, grab your bats and grab your balls. 
then if all you have is a hammer, everyone, everything looks like a hammer. Everyone, everyone looks like a hammer. Good night, everybody. Everyone's got a glass straw.